Volatile ball. Volatile ball. Hey, you know what, what else? else? What? No, I I don't. I've, what what, I've, what 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 what? Uh, we're alive now. Oh. Uh, wow. Wait, was I dead for thirty-seven years? Am I like a lich now? Connor, I'm not you sure. sneaky, sneaky boy, you. I did it. I snuck up on you. Ha ha. <laughs> funny, funny, gun, bang, bang. <laughs> sneaky, so, sneaky, so, Connor. So do you guys like your cereal boiled or iced? Do you? Um, I I, to... Oh, dude, I love my cereal braised, personally. I, like I braised. hate to do this to you, Connor, but did you make mm -hmm. a tweet? I did. Oh, okay. wow. I did make a tweet. I did it. I heard all the typing. Sound like the cacophonous, like, lullaby oh Mad that was Man. that was me writing up the intro i'm not finished with that by the way oh okay cool okay great so <laughs> okay. you need us to talk if, uh, hey everybody as soon, as soon hey, as my, yes. out there? Absolutely. hello gamers welcome hey, back to gamers. gateway hope you're well, all hope you've all taken your immunity boosters yeah everybody take their immunity boosters and if you hadn't i'll know and i'll be crisscross applesauce with you i think these uh -oh. gummies have vitamins in them somewhere oh my gosh <laughs> don't that's grab the right, wrong Con gummies ah! that's right connor you get dummy off those flintstone gummies take them, two of them make the disease go away them dummy gummies get the gummy dummy gummies fish. The dummy gummy girl, the dummy gummy. Hi, how are how are y'all's holidays, chat? Yeah, how was your you how was your holidays? Good Did you get a nice present from Saint Nick? Saint um, Nicholas. I've been here the whole time. Don't even. Well, I don't know. Saint Nicholas Bartholomew, <laughs> now played by Hopper from The Stranger Things. The Stranger Dangers. The Stranger oh. Dangers. You know, it's the show that goes. Speaking of, you know, I do the same thing in my car to red light, and like one time I was doing it, and I looked over to my left. This old lady looked at me like I was possessed by the devil. Um. Like it was so good. How do you know you're not? <laughs> How do you know you're not? Well, I just always, I wake up assume I'm possessed by something. If it's the devil, then, you know, that's a pretty top tier possessor. I can't be, po I can't be possessed by, I can't be possessed by the devil because I'm possessed by the very spirit of whimsy. Oh, ah. oh faith and be gone. So the Irish devil. <laughs> oh yeah, what, what do we call him? Um, Laufey. Yeah, Laufey, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Mounky de Laufey, the, the Irish devil. He has the sin sin fruit, which makes you, you know, do the, do the not good on the testament. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that's my One Piece character. Don't steal him. He's so good now. <laughs> Take my one piece, OC, don't don't steal. one piece OC, don't steal. One OC, do not steal. Yeah, do not steal. Uh, since we were gone for a few weeks, what did everybody do for their holidays? Uh, I had family in town, uh -huh. and then they left, and awesome. then I cleaned up. And now I'm here. I Sounds had, exciting. I came over to my uh, parents' house and uh, I slept over at their place, Christmas edition. <laughs> Sleep nice. over at their house. Uh, yeah, very fluffy guest room. They have a very fluffy bed. Um, and uh, yeah, I got all kinds of nice, nice stuff. Had a country Christmas with uh, my, my family. It was, it was pretty close to me, my mom, my, uh, my sister. Uh, oh. I got an air fryer. I got an air fryer. For oh, nice. That's nice. some good High shit right quality there. quality gifting. Rare so drops. And the, best, real. and the best thing and the best thing about it is my mama gave me a, um, a cookbook for uh, air fryer recipes, which is great because I was just going to be like, how do I do an air fryer? And I just take a bunch of chopped up things going, no, oh, that should do. There you go. <laughs> that, that, that's where you live. I mean, pretty but, much any freezer item you can air fry. But now that I have an air fryer cookbook, I can like, figure out like how to nuance it, how to do these things. Really, really get to know my air fryer. Wow. I bet like a frozen pizza in an air fryer is like so much better than anything in the oven. I heard uh, since I have an air fryer, every every other appliance I have, just throw it out. Just it's fine. Wow. Just, just you in the air fryer. <laughs> I, I'm not doing it though. Cause like I would have to throw out the oven. I want to pull my back. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's probably too many things. I don't think you can yeah, air fry honestly. a cake. 
Oh, watch not me. With that, not with that attitude. Yeah. Watch me. Oh. I, um... But, yeah, no, it was uh, it was pretty good. We had, uh... My sister made everything, and my sister's just really great at, like, just hometown cooking. Oh, that sounds uh, delightful. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, what is it? Okay, Some... I was yeah. wrong. You can't apparently do an air fryer cake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Of course you can. So, you... Sierra, what'd you do? Yeah, what'd you do, Sierra? Uh, my dad came into town. My sister had her second baby. We mostly did a lot of that while she was at the hospital and watching the first kid. Uh, then, and the BF was here, too, to help out, Phil. And then we oh. both got something from my niece. So we no. spent, like, half of the time recouping back at my place, both with the sniffles. And then we had Christmas. And then... Uh, then we spent more time, mostly it was just, ugh, mostly it was just, like, helping my sister with the new kid and stuff, and then I got sick mm -hmm. again. And I'm better now. Now, Caitlin, I know your, uh, I know, I know your Christmas was the most not as advertised, so how, 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 how are you? Uh, well, yeah. so I was supposed to be in Japan, but, uh, all of my family over there got sick, so basically we canceled the trip the day before. Um, but my... Christmas, uh, I basically spent it with like different <coughs> groups of people. Um, one, I spent uh, eating a lot of food, which was great. And Excellent. then uh, the other one was a lot of watching musicals. Um, Do you one have of a them, favorite musical? A favorite? I don't know if I have a favorite musical, <sighs> but I watched, um, oh man. We watched Tick, Tick, Boom, which was really good. Uh, oh, that's on my list. I need to watch that. I'm away. I, it was about <sighs> like Newfoundland and 9-11, um, but it's like actually happy, like restores your hope in humanity kind of mm -hmm. situation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I, that's cozy. Uh, and then we also watched Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, which is, wow, a very different picture of what feminism was in the 1960s. Yep. Um, yeah, not... A very it's a very different if you want to like i love they justify their whole like we're gonna go kidnap these women with that song sobbing women it's like oh yeah you, do you realize those women in the song you're singing just got like got raped probably you're, you're oh, not Lord. what are you doing guys yeah it was a it was a very different movie than i was <laughs> expecting um but uh yeah so it was it was just like a very musical Musical experience bringing in the new year. Uh, also, I watched the Everything Goes Wrong show for the first time. Oh, that's um, one of my favorite shows. I have a very difficult time watching that show. It is like I am one of those people who when you when I watch cringe, I feel it physically and I like <laughs> curl in on myself like a spider because it's very difficult. I, I <laughs> that, that, that's, why, that's why I can always that's why I can only watch it's always sunny and spurts like yeah, yeah. I'm better with British cringe than I do American cringe. Yeah, I yeah, but the wrong show. Oh, it's it's so good. It's just... My friend Stacy showed me onto it. It's just uh, my it's uh, my ra my uh, my rate alert. The large is from that show. I love it. Oh my gosh. Um, what? Uh, uh oh, Connor, man. are you in a position to talk about your holidays or do I, you I am. A moment. My okay, great. Holidays... My holidays, uh, they were they were good. I spent uh, Christmas at home. Uh, nice. Yeah, that was that was pretty much the plan. So everything went according to it. D -d 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 cake. I had a lot of a lot of chocolate, a lot of really good food, a lot of French toast. It was delicious. I will very say delicious this... holiday. I will say to this day, Connor has the best kitchen of any home I've ever visited. <laughs> Like, I'll never forget looking at it. I looked around. I was like, damn, bitch, you live like this? <laughs> <laughs> Walking kitchen? Is that an island? Fuck. It was an island, if you can believe it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I got a bunch of really crazy stuff. Uh, I'm going to be starting making my own mead soon here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I'm mead very excited. Drink? Yes. Very exciting. Uh, making I'm some so, honey wine. Oh, I'm, so, so good. I'm so glad uh, that you're making mead. I have recipes that I wrote down a long time ago if you want them. 
fucking Shrexlin, my dude. I might hit you up for those. I can't oh believe that God. you just said that as a phrase. Connor, I don't know if long, I'm going to recover from how long, that. How long have you known Connor? Like, he, 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 <laughs> finds, never... he, fi he finds amazing portmanteaus every other week. Listen, I it's do true. not disagree, but Shrek... I can't even say it. I can't Shrek say it. Shrek 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 I'm, I'm not going to try again. That was enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one? All the other ones? I've been like, huh, Smange and Tumpus? Awesome. The one that just came out, I don't I don't know yeah. how I feel about it. That's I don't. my new one. That's my new I'm one not, right there. I don't like that. Uh, Connor. Two yes. idiots mead. Ooh. <laughs> two idiots mead. Uh, you might have something there. Uh, get oh the, my lord. Get gahi flavor. Oh. It's just it's just you and me look just like it's just you and me and just like the old timey like pencil stencil drawing, but we're just clearly very drunk and not paying attention to the where we're supposed to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Excellent. Man. Yeah. Uh then I went to Minnesota for New Year's and spent it with my family. The logo is excellent. <laughs> Zen says the logo is just for two of us passed the fuck out on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this, no, is, what, this is what, this is the this is the Shrexcellent brew. One, yeah, one of us yeah, one of us yeah. is laying down on a couch and it switches who it who it is depending on what what flavor you've got. If we have a collab, we just have them sleeping on the couch. We're polite. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gotta pull out the couch for the guests. Hoofy. Absolutely. Well, uh, other than that, however, uh, we should probably go ahead and get it started here. Uh, yeah. Let's do some quick introductions this time. Caitlin, where can cool. I find you? What are you up to? Hi, hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth, and you can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Um, something that I've been up to lately. Uh, oh, gosh. what? When was the last time we were on here? A hot oh, minute. It's been like a hot minute. Uh, it, was, uh, it was the 17th, the 17th wow three weeks ago okay so some things have happened since then uh for those of you that play final fantasy war of the visions uh brave exvius uh i do the ravius winter skin <laughs> came out mm -hmm. uh and that's me i voice yeah. her Jane, guess what? i have you oh really yep i have you. oh bless uh, hey you want to you, 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 you want to know what's really good what? You are broken as hell in that game. I love yes, that. <laughs> that's all I wanted. Isn't, isn't that always great to hear when you hear you have something that's just like amazing in the game, like you had nothing, no control over? Oh, absolutely. I'm like, oh, yes, yeah. I love oh, to be all powerful. Thank you. When oh I yeah, some... no, Caitlin is absolutely fuck busted. Like when I, when yes. I hear somebody main, when I hear somebody mained me and smite, I'm like, yes. <laughs> yep, it's about like that. Uh, also on the the twenty uh, eighth. Um, the short film, The Thief of Joy, my very first on-camera uh, co-lead experience that is out now over on the Nerd on the Podcast channel on YouTube. Please check it out. Leave a little comment or a heart if you would like. And also, um, if you like hockey anime, um, The Pride of Orange, the cast has been announced on that, and I think someone else in this call is going to have something to say about that. But uh, I voiced China <gasps> Yoneyama and uh, Rikako Mizusawa in Pride of Orange. And that's it. Is that the sequel to Legacy of Lime? Legacy of Lime? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I can't confirm Snaps. that in this moment. <laughs> so, um, not, not sure. Look, Connor's got zingers. I have to go ahead and just keep up with him. I appreciate it. Track. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. <laughs> have to keep Thank up you. On. Yeah. Uh, but that is all for me. Right on. Up next, we've got Hey, Mr. Rabbit, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Hey, what's going on? Hey, my name is Rabbit. Uh, I am a writer and also a comedian. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Um, a bunch of fun things. I'm a variety streamer. I think that's what. Connor coined me as. Yeah, variety streamer makes sense. Uh, I stream uh, mostly RPGs and uh, horror games, uh, mostly, but I've been I, I've been known to dump into my chest of weird and esoteric uh, Steam games every so often. 
Uh, some of my favorite games to play are uh, like The Evil Within, if you like horror games like that. Uh, we played Outlast last week, me and Sarah. That was really fun. Six uh, hours. Six oh hours. Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, we I... got into it because because Sarah was just like, yeah, there are dicks in the main game. And I went, there are not. There are. It's like there are so oh. dicks in the main game. Yeah. There, and, there are uh, a lot. Yep. And uh, to be fair, uh, I apparently just never pointed the camera down out of politeness. And I went, oh, everyone's got a big uh, you, Wow. Wow. <laughs> you, 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 you have locker room etiquette. <laughs> yeah. I I'm do. So, I, do. I, I do not. I'm sorry. But when Walk a game presents me. When a game presents me with two beefy naked guys, I want to know if the game I, devs had the balls to, you know, do the I balls. Know the, I they know did, there were the lots of. The I, shaft. I know Ooh. there were lots of dicks in that game because I had to keep like editing around it when I was doing the Krillin Let's Play for that. It's like <laughs> and cocks everywhere, <laughs> cocks. Uh, and uh, for the RPG things, I've been playing um, uh, Trails from Zero, which is a game in the Legacy of Heroes here series, which is Falcom. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, I absolutely love that game series. Uh, and RuneScape. I play RuneScape, uh, old school RuneScape, and uh, RuneScape proper, which is uh, most people call RuneScape three. Uh, but there's a lot of fun that. Other than that, uh, just nothing really big. Everybody in my family sick, but me. <laughs> uh, and my sister's birthday is coming up, so I might just slide a birthday card through the floor <laughs> for her birthday and be like, "Here you go, sis." <laughs> <It's birth time. laughs> I gave you a gift. It's Nyquil Dayquil combo. Oh, the all the all the remedy. Oh all shit! The remedy. Getting crossfaded yeah. on Quill. I understand that oh, that God. someone else has a birthday this week. Do they? Whoa! Well, mm. I hear it's a doodly do. Is it? Is it? Oh, if you're talking about me, no, that's next Monday. That that's the sixteenth oh. for me. Right. Yeah, no, me and my sister, like, me and my, me and my, uh, me and my sister's birthdays are a week apart. It's easy to and remember. I'm just gonna put it in my calendar. She's been, uh, she's the ninth, uh, she's the ninth, and I'm the sixteenth. Um, and I'm the twelfth. And you're the twelfth. Oh damn it! I got to forge a sword for you for your birthday. Oh you fuck yeah! Birthday sword. Uh, birthday but, sword. But if you just want to go ahead and just hear me, uh, just go ahead and just. Uh, Tell my dumb dumb stories, which I heard are quite hilarious. I got third party verification. Mm -hmm. Um, you can just come on down to what uh, twitch.tv slash hey Mr. Rabbit. I stream mostly every day of the week. I tend not to stream on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Those are like my two days. So come on down, have yourself a fun <laughs> old time, gather around the fire pit, listen to old man rabbit tell his dumb dumb stories. That's me. Heck yeah. Right on. Lenny Pator, where can they find you? What are you up to? Find me all over YouTube and the breast of the internet and Twitch and also other parts of the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, currently been playing through a lot of Mario games. I just beat Mario Galaxy tonight and holy shit. Uh, I am Excellent. I'm really I'm really sad that it took me nearly twenty years to get to that game. Uh, oh, same when I played it. It's 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 dumbly good. I'm gonna be moving on to uh, Super Mario 3D Worlds tomorrow though. Mm -hmm. uh, at oh. seven o'clock Central Time, if you want to come you're not hang playing... out and mm -hmm. you're not I, playing I, Mario I, Galaxy I, Two. I unfortunately do not have a Wii. Oh, so that, that that is a bit of a hindrance. Oh no! Yes, yeah. That, that what does explain? And it. and and Nintendo does not like to uh, port their things very quickly. When yeah. You don't, Forever. You don't have a, a Wii, but you. Which have, is a shame. I I I had three I had the 3D All Stars game, which allowed me to play uh, Galaxy and. Uh, some, you had that on the uh, Switch. Uh, that I see. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So I, ha I had the Switch, but it does not allow me for Galaxy Two. It was unfortunate. Which is a shame because Galaxy, Galaxy Two, really as here, good I as Galaxy is, is, Galaxy Two is even better. I know. I keep hearing that. I'm like, God damn it. But unfortunately, I have to live uh, in this world. So what a fucking nightmare. Uh, yeah, it's don't it's, yeah, it's... <laughs> don't feel don't feel too bad. I've I've never played Galaxy Two myself either. I think that's the only Mario game I haven't. But hey, when, whenever Nintendo around. whenever Nintendo finds the common sense to drop it on the Switch, uh, I will play that. Uh, right. But until then, 3D Worlds starts tomorrow. And right. I'm 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 looking forward to it. It should be a, it should be a fun times. Uh, 
I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to shout out. Oh, uh, in terms of Roll With Me, if you're not all role oh, yes. played out over here, uh, I am going to be uh, pushing Roll With Me back one more week to the, what it will be, like the 13th? That sounds right. Or 9th? I, I don't know. Uh, 16th. It'll be the 16th will be when we okay. come back for Roll With Me because unfortunately Shadow Dancer Bob is also quite sick. Uh, I, I don't know if you could hear Connor, but he, he's he's not feeling super hot right now either. Oh my god. No. Yeah, I, no I just, I just, we'll give I you just, that, I, yeah. I just want everybody to be feeling 100% when we get back in because it's, uh, it, it, it's going it, to be one of those sessions. It makes me want to throw on my like my old hospital scrubs and just kick down his door and be like, I'm going to fix you. <laughs> we'll be, but we will be excited to be coming back. Uh, it also gives some people more of a chance to catch up on it because uh, there's going to be a bit of a time skip. It's going to be a bit of a time skip. So there, it'll be a, a fun little jumping on point for people if you want to either be caught up or jump in live. Monday the 16th, 5 o'clock Central Time, twitch.tv slash on monday i love that'll time be skips. A, yeah it'll be it'll be a fun one there's been a lot developing in the world and a lot of things that were set in motion at the end of last episode but that's me i'm gonna go grab myself a beverage real quick <coughs> right on and sarah <laughs> where can they find you what are you up to i'm on twitter and youtube at sarah with an h and with an e will ya um as Caitlin so non subtly uh, put, <laughs> nudge. Um, uh, I am also <laughs> in the new. <laughs> <laughs> nudge. <laughs> I'm also in the uh, Pride of Orange dub as uh, Keiko Nohara. She's an old woman in episode seven. It's just nice to exercise that voice every so often. And uh, River City Girls 2 is out also, and I'm back voicing Mommy Ann and Weena. Uh, and on Fridays, I've joined a new little mini campaign, uh, called C4, that's Sea Like the Ocean, that's being, uh, DM'd by JC Doodles or Jacob Carlson, and I'm playing with Blue, uh, <laughs> Blue, oh Kazanate. God, yeah, that's it. Blue Kazanate, Miss Tweedums, and, uh, Burnout Vaughn, and we're two episodes into that now, but I think we're taking a break next Friday, because I have a prior commitment, but we'll be back the following Friday. Hooray! I'm so glad you're hanging out with my friend Vaughn. Oh, yes, good thank egg. you. You recommend. Thank you. You recommend me. Thank you. Oh yeah. He was so nervous. He was just like, "Could you talk to Sarah?" I'm like, "You could talk." She has thumbs and lungs. So it's the thing of like, it's like, it's like <laughs> they keep bringing up like the Hello Kitty thing. It's like I'm so nervous asking Hello Kitty. It's like, okay, what? <laughs> what? Uh, it, it was it was so funny on Christmas when my sister's like, "Oh, you do that with Sarah, right?" I'm just like, "Yeah." She's like. What Sarah does like different Sarah. She's like, ah, I see. she's like, oh, doesn't she do voice though? Like, yeah. I was like, what does she do? And my sister collects a lot of Hello Kitty shit. She has Hello Kitty Pyrex for Christ's sake. So like, I grabbed like one of her Hello Kitty cake dishes and I was like, this. And she's like, she works with Tupperware. And I went, no, she's she's the cat. I voice Tupper Tupperware. I voice yeah, Tupperware. She's, yeah, she's no, you don't understand, sis. She's the cat. I am the She's the howdy cat. She's the howdy cat. Howdy cat. Which my sister, like, not looking up from, like, her eggnog was like, how the fuck do you fall into this? And I go, I have no idea, honestly. I... Uh, <laughs> it just happens. I just, I, I, I just trundle around going, do, 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 do. I literally just walk around like the dude from Brody Quest and I just find myself into situations. I don't know. Dooch, 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 uh, do, 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 do. But Radical. yeah, that's what I'm doing on Fridays. I'm, I'm a Haragon Circle of the Spores druid. It's been fun. I like, I like having <laughs> spores. Phil, yeah. do not harangue me. <laughs> Why would he? What's he said? <laughs> he he just said DM, something. He, he just DM me. He just DM me saying, "Think about how I bloody feel." <laughs> <laughs> Stop with this! Stop with that! Oh yeah, that's me. Alrighty, uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com/slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, tomorrow, stream is dubious, because I'm going out for my early birthday dinner. I'm going to get some fondue. Ooh. Ooh what? Yes. That's so I, groovy. Yeah, I look forward to uh, my blood not moving. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Blood currently doing that. I've returned. No, uh, uh, yeah, it's just gonna stop. It's just, it's just gonna hurt, and nothing will work anymore. Oh my god! <laughs> That's typically. It'll be a, goes. it'll be a slow, painful process, but it will also be delicious. The glory uh, of the cheese wizard. I should be resting. I'll be getting plenty of rest when there's a lot of cheese in my gut. Oh my True. god! <laughs> ah, che yes, cheese, the perfect thing to. Get gunk out of your head. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you why have this gunk get in all your the head gunk. you can have gunk all around? <laughs> the gunk in my head um. doesn't taste as good as the gunk that it's going to be in my stomach. Oh my god. Oh also, check out my DMs Guild, uh, where uh, I'm going to get ready to start uh, actually working on my stuff there, because, uh, as you may have may have heard in, during the Unexpectables, I'm getting ready to, to wrap up the first part of a project that I've been working on for a long time. I think at least half a year. Um, I can't talk about it yet, but it's coming, like, within the next horses? couple of... Within the next couple of weeks, coming. Ooh, fun, dude. Are there horse, are there and it is unexpectables related. Ooh. No so, horses. so yeah. Uh, be be sure to be sure to stay tuned to our different differing news outlets. Ooh, very exciting. Actually, come to think of it, a couple of unexpectables related things are are. Uh, imminent, so be on the lookout for those. OTW. Yeah, on the way. Wow. Uh, but yes, um, that's all I got. But this episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Oh, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <sighs> Die Hard Dice. <laughs> oh, a new year, new me. Sorry. Yeah, I wow. see. I see. I see. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, best me Thanks. 23. Best die Hard Dice is your one stop shop for dice and dice accessories. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> wow. Swap <Small> places. <laughs> we exchange. Uh, new year, new me. New the morphogenetic new... <laughs> field. New me. <laughs> Connor. <laughs> and if you head on over to dieharddice.com, use the code unexpectables, you can save 10% on your order when you shop. A oh, nice. That's a lot of savings! Mm-hmm. Like Raptor's <laughs> hammer. What a savings. That's too mm, many. What a savings. Uh, we also couldn't do this without people such as uh, Drago Soon, think of the 27 months. Hey. Hey. Hi. Dugga. What's up, man? Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Mr. Rabbit, first shout out of the year. Make it count. <laughs> he has. Uh, I, oh, he has I have! Counted. I did it! Yes! Da, da, da. Third party Protoss 103, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Time for Gateway, the better show than The Unexpectables 2. I can't wait to see what happens tonight. <gasps> hey, listen, man, I didn't say anything. Oh, it. hell. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I'm, I'm the one who said it. I'm just, just gonna go ahead and let that one slip right under the radar. Patch on the head and you on your way. As a completely unbiased party, you might be right. No. Mm -hmm. You know what? As a second, as a second, mm -hmm. third party, you might be correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard the dirt. Kuro Okami, thank you for the 27 months. New year, new adventures, same old crew. Happy 2023, y'all. Yeah. The Drifter of Time and Space, thank you for the 500 bits. I'll see you on the VOD. Got any favorite foods you like to make? Uh, I love pasta. One of my favorite things to make is a beef barley stew. Mm. Serving ser 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 the old Appalachian style, slow stew. I, I have gotten really, really good at roasting a chicken. Nice. Like, absurdly good at it. He can do it with his eyes now. Great. Wow. I don't even need, like, a probe thermometer or anything. I can just smell it now. It's it's done. What? Dude, that's good talent. Give it a little sniff. It's ready. Well, falls off right the bone. There. You you, you grab you grab the leg and it'll peel off the chicken. Doesn't Good even Lord. hold anymore. Dude, that's awesome. That sounds delicious. 
Uh, Sergeant Tucker, think of the 100 bits. My Christmas was good. Florida got to experience cold for the first time in years. Oh. And then my bikes are in need of repair. Mm. Wet wear. Always fun to work on anything mechanical. Yeah. Communist Kaiju, thank you for the 30 months of Prime. Celebrating 30 months on this channel. Also, the life of my gecko, Spec who unfortunately Aww. passed away yesterday morning. Aww. I'm sure he would have been thankful for the birthday wishes you guys gave for his 17th birthday <laughs> during Gobtober. Oh, Bebo. Aww, Rest in peace, baby. Spec. Out of all the geckos, you were one of them. Yeah. That's Spec factually Drago correct. soon. thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Spec has replaced Gex in my heart. Uh, sh the message is, is Shrekcellent, but I think in this case it's mm. Speccellent. That's sad. It's never, it's never, it's never easy to lose a pet. My condolences. Mm -hmm. Babe. Yeah. Uh, Umter T, thank you for the uh, two months of Prime Summage. Hey, two months. Also, am I the only one that thinks it's crazy that Caitlin and Sarah have IMDB credits for being on Death Battle, but not on Gateway? Kind of weird, if you ask me. Yeah, Connor. What the fuck? Is this is this my problem. problem. <laughs> I need to talk to Jonathan IMDb. Get yeah, you need to talk to there. Jonathan IMDb and get uh, it together. Yeah. I wonder if my IMDb has been updated for that. I have yeah. two. <laughs> Do I have what? an IMDb? <sighs> because no one knows who I am. <laughs> oh my god, Connor. Uh, there's also an an Irish uh, an Irish child actor named Connor McKinley, uh, so it gets confusing. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Protoss103, thank you for the five bits. My birthday is on the 16th this month also, Rabbit. My mom is on the 24th. Man, people do be born in January, though. Mm -hmm. I have the coolest birthstone. I love garnets. They look like the kind of gemstone a vampire would wear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 10 bits. The cold Florida has was amazing, uh, but short-lived. And Zen Lita, think of the 100 bits. New year, new Connorisms. Can't wait to see how my vocabulary is drastically altered. Irrevocably changed. <laughs> White Fang, 9018. Thank you for the 31 uh, months uh, <laughs> of Prime. First gateway of the year. Let's go. IDC Witch, thank you for the 100 bits. Happy New Year, Runaways. May this lucky charm lead to a fat man. <gasps> Thank you. It, it would be Happy something. Happy New Year it? to you too. And finally, DRK Gannon. Thank you for the 32 months of Prime. On my Twitch Prime sub ended before I could use it again. Finally got to use it again just now. Good luck tonight. Indeed, indeed. All right, y'all. Are you ready to get oh, into it? Let's do oh, it. Yeah. The Apex is ready. Oh. I'm ready. Y'all feel like we've just been staying around for three months? You've been <laughs> in a no. car. We have been in a car. We have been driving for a month. Oh, I just been a lot to think about. I was just fiddling with the radio. I'll say you're sc <laughs> Okay. Where is the... There it is. All right. I'm sick too today. Who'd have thought? <laughs> well, he's been captured, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you uh you just want to just tap on the uh tap on the speaker as to where you are? <laughs> oh, oh god. Hang on, it's coming through it's coming through two separate fucking yeah. Hate when that happens. <clears throat> oh yeah. Mute tab. There we go. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right. When last we left the runaways, Apex the wild man, Alvin the mechanic, Louise the scavenger, and Cynthia the nurse, Apex was in hot pursuit of the mysterious individual who was lurking in the shadows of the Fox Theater. After narrowly avoiding a few dangerous traps, he began to chase the stranger who was clad in a strange jacket through the alleyways, making good headway, but surprised at a crucial moment by a display of superhuman strength. Opting not to leave his teammates behind, Apex returned to his companions, breaking off from his chase. 
and they were distracted by a gaggle of ghouls while trying to find their way to their ma bemasked companion. Discovering that the terminal had been tampered with, Dave and Alvin worked together along with Louise doing a quick bit of searching to get it back in working order, only to discover to their horror that it belonged to a synth courser, or so Dave believed. After tracking the robotic killer to an abandoned theater, Apex exchanged some tense words before deciding to leave the mechanical machine, uh, the maniacal machine, B. Now, back in Riverside, what will become of our wastelanders? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway. This voice just shoves all of the snot into my nose. Yep. <laughs> it, 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 is a, it is a very masky voice. Do you oh, want to take a moment and blow? Yeah, I, oh, wanna, I always love you to You want to clear out the old snot locker there? <laughs> there you Delicious. go. Smattering. This pleases. All righty. And so you you pull you pull back into Riverside. Um, it's still night at this point. Uh, I'm still not sure we should have left it behind. What the I don't lady think in the house could have stayed. Well, better we go ahead and just leave it there than have it just go ahead and just track us. Well, if it is something that is going to become a problem later, perhaps next time you won't see it coming. Yeah, I mean, if it was something that was going to be a problem for us, why didn't she, why didn't she, it, whatever, just take us out then? It only knew I was there. That's not uh, we can use to our advantage. It only above game. You were there. Well, above game, didn't when we were leaving it watch us from the window in the car? We would have no way of knowing. We don't know that. <laughs> I thought somebody saw that. Oh, he well. said. He said you like Connor said you felt like you had eyes in the back of your or like eyes on your back, but hmm. that could just be paranoia. Fine, Ooh. rewind. <laughs> We want Tom, baby. <laughs> well, but yeah, if it's a, yeah, I don't think it's gonna go ahead and retract us, especially since Apex said that they thought they were the only one there. Did it? Did you kind of feel it taking a keen interest in the Apex? I think it wasn't curious about me one way or the other. Then we have nothing it to worry about, man. It looked at me with a disposition of indifference. Hmm. Oh, that sounds either means it right. don't think you. Either means don't think you were a threat, or you two were on the even playing field. I know that look. I'm telling you what, though, the air in that room was so tense. It was so thick you could went ahead and made a cake out of it. I'll tell you what. Glances at Alvin. Are you sure about that analogy? Well, it would have been a good cake. Pretty thick, you know, with tension. I... I, I nudge you with my I nudge you with my elbow. A little tension. Damn it, stuff. Alvin! <laughs> There's too many things for me to think about trying to figure out your, that logic. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> so now we hitch, cake. So, so where are we hitching off now? We had, we're hitching off to Earth City, I'll say? We should probably spend the night here. Oh, oh that's yes. pretty good. Yeah, you did. You, know, you did end up driving back to Riverside, so I'll, I'll go ahead yes. and put your cursor there. Well, home sweet home, man. We can go ahead and just it's... go ahead and gab the boss man and Kathy, and go ahead and just uh, rest up for a little bit. Well, I'd like to hear if we've heard anything from Point Man too. Mm. He took off a while back now. How late is it, Connor? Um, it is it is the dead of night at this point. I would say oh. it'd, it'd be around like one in the morning. Yeah, sounds like a plan for the morning then. <coughs> yeah, he sounds good to me then. I'm it's going to go sleep. It has been a long couple days. And I have much to think on. 
Hey, that's no trouble. Apex, I'll go ahead and uh, turn in too. Apex gets out of the car. I'll get out of the car too. Yep. Hoist my backpack with Phil. Let's get some shed eye, buddy. Cynthia will uh, bring the car to Boss Man and, or the garage rather, and um, probably start asking around town of has anything happened while we were gone? Has anyone heard from Point Man? Just kind of a general status report from everybody who's doing a night shift. If anyone's awake, yeah. Yeah. Um, seeing as how they're people, if people f feel pretty safe in the town, so would you be, would you be going around uh, asking any any people who might be awake in the town, or anybody who might be awake in the uh, in the workshop? Um, probably start at workshop just to see like. Who's there? What's going on? Just general questions. Nothing that anyone... Not divulging any information that someone wouldn't know. All right. It... it boss man would be the only one in the workshop at the moment, and he is asleep. Okay. Uh, and... Um, uh, Kathy is, is no longer there. She she seems to have she seems to have uh, left. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe that check in with awake. whoever. You know, one <laughs> horse. Uh, maybe check in with whatever <laughs> guards are out patrolling, just to kind of get an idea of what's been going on. It's a one-horse okay. town. Yeah, you you find uh, a, a man who's wearing sort of uh, like a like a leather biker jacket over some simple clothes, and he's just uh, pretty pretty lackadaisical in his um, route. But you you would recognize him as sort of like a, a mercenary hired on to patrol. The streets. There's not really. There's not really a, a town guard here. Right. It's just. It's just people who get hired to Do see to stuff. the safety of the citizens. Yeah, mercenary okay. work. Uh, well, she'll check in with him then. Evening. Uh, evening, ma'am. How have things been around town? Mm, quiet. For the most part. For the most part? Well, you know how it is. There'll there'll be something that we have to take care of with people coming in and out all the time. Of but course. for the most part, been pretty regular around here. Hmm. You, uh, who do you report to exactly? Uh, the mayor. Right. Yeah, she, she hired me on for mercenary work, contract work, stuff like that. I'll only be here for a couple months and then I'll be moving on. That's usually how this stuff works. Right. Hmm. You haven't heard anything about any of the locals coming back from travels, have you? Locals coming back? Yeah, Is... a little group of us set out not too long ago. I didn't know if anyone else had uh, beat us coming back to town. Um... Let me think. Uh, well, I don't know much. I know uh, the big guy down at the Soda Jerk, the uh, large man, he's he's still gone. Right. Remember, he left a while back. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, ghoul lady, I think her name's Kathy. Kathy, she, yeah. She, she left a couple days ago. Probably That's... on a routine machinist run. Gotcha. Guess things can be quiet in some parts of the world. Yeah, well. Hmm. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Mm hmm. Cynthia will keep wandering around the town, seeing if anything's changed, what's new, since sleep is not on the menu. Did we leave Dave in the car again? <laughs> Dave has asphyxiated due to carbon monoxide fumes. Oh my god. Help, help. Crack the window. You, gotta, you have to put the sign up. He's, he's just, fine and listening just, to his favorite song. He's just sucking at a crack in the window. <laughs> oh my god. It'll be, fine, Dave. It'll be fine. They'll remember you. <laughs> Cynthia assumed that Dave would go do the human sleep thing with everybody yeah. else. David <laughs> is asleep. But Dave does not exist until we first acknowledge him, so he's he just has been in our existence and now he's sleeping. <laughs> like, oh, where am I? Oh, it's just, cold. He just grabs a, he just grabs a mercenary going, what year is it? <laughs> he's, sleeping, he's sleeping at the foot of an empty bed somewhere. Oh, God. But yes, you, you continue to patrol around the town. I assume and nothing terribly exciting. Nothing much. You might see like a, a mole rat on the horizon sort of look <gasps> down at the town, think better of its options, and then move along. It can smell the apex. Wow. <laughs> it can smell the me. The apex has a powerful musk. Yeah, it that's does. that part is true. Mm -hmm. Yes. We sold in the merch shop. Yo, the apex. <laughs> and uh, your night will pass without much... Uh... Without much, uh, in in terms of uh, out of the ordinary events, yeah, without much excitement. And I, I'm assuming the rest of you are just are just hitting the sack. Apex would spend some time just before the images leave his mind to sketch out, you know, the uh, the Terminator and uh, try to write a bit more of the chapter of him meeting his brother because that's some compelling narrative shit for the arc indeed you you scrawl out and and uh, illustrate some of the characters and some of the developments that have happened over the last couple of days and then he'd sleep i'll do some routine maintenance on his power fists just make sure his kit's in order with uh, his tool belt and what have you, and then uh, go ahead and hit the day. You know, just get the gunk out of all the pneumatics and whatnot. And so you do. You take your kit of tools, and you, with a surprisingly d delicate touch, uh, clean out the parts of your trusty power fists. And then you all sleep. Right. And what would Louise be doing? Uh, I guess um, she kind of takes stock. So she takes stock of all the crap in her bag. She had it for a while. And she's still got, she's got that syringe of blue liquid. She sort of eyeballs and is like, yeah, she probably asks Cynthia about that. Lord knows I'm not just going to shove it in my eyeballs. Hmm? No, I don't think it would be funny, Phil. It's probably could kill me. Ugh. Let's see like eyeball on that the jet dose the psycho dose just like all this stuff and her thing debating over whether or not she should throw away some of this old food i mean i know i know the deviled eggs last forever but it's still just like 
Got preservatives. I know. It's still horrible to think about. You throw them in the trash. Apex comes down the next morning. Somebody threw out eggs. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly, perfectly good pair of eggs. Uh, oh, uh, y'all yeah. the... find the trash eggs? <laughs> Los huevos. The trash oh. fairy came again last night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just sips her coffee and shakes her head. Uh, but yeah, there's not. I can't think of much I need to do, honestly. So just head to the sack, too. And so you do. Taking time, uh, a little bit of time to yourself, and you drift to sleep. And Cynthia, eventually, you would find nothing uh, better to do than to head back. And the day... Dawns, another morning that you've carved out in this wasteland, and the sun rises to greet you. Dave will wake to find the red-eyed Cynthia just staring at him while he sleeps. <laughs> Apex will awaken to do his calisthenics. Alvin rolls out of bed, cracks his neck, just has his jumpsuit, just pants on, but the rest of it just wrapped around his waist as he just curiously goes to the kitchen and finds coffee. And you both hear a <laughs> from Dave's room. <laughs> oh, I'd oh I'd run toward that, <clears throat> just like almost like almost on a switch. <laughs> Apex knows that Dave is jumpy. Apex does not pay it any mind. They hear, like, from another room, Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll slap open the door and see Cynthia just staring at Dave. Yeah, <laughs> Dave Dave's, like, Dave's, like, feeling around frantically for his glasses and clutching his chest. Oh, Dave, you sly dog. All right, I thought something bad happened. All right. All right. Uh, what? Coffee what? time. Uh, nope, coffee time for me. This this is a non-issue. Uh, Hi, Cynthia. Good morning. Out of curiosity, Alvin, have you accounted for your alarm clock? Alvin, oh, no. re realizing that the alarm clock was set... <laughs> We'll run back uh, to no, it's room. not fair. Come on, roll for it at least. <laughs> I'm going to forgot. You left. You woke up before it. Now you have to I roll. I did. I did. I got to roll. Hold on. Uh, Let me know. have some fun. This will be. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to do roll. it anyway. Roll it a, before I did the setup. Roll, roll a yeah, smarts. Roll, roll a smarts, smarts to see if you if you remembered. Oh, shit. Nine. Nine? Yeah. Louise, you're you're just opening your eyes when you hear <laughs> the Squidward red-eyed shot eyes shoot open. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, excuse me for a minute. Let me roll. Oh, it's ringing. I'm gonna. You're gonna have to beat me. <laughs> you just barely beat her. <laughs> She's already got, she's got your door open. <laughs> you see Alvin just slewish through, like, passed under your arm and just like a boxing acrobatic and just dash toward the, <laughs> dash toward the drawer. No. You need to roll for that, the acrobatics? <laughs> what do we just roll curious. for acrobatics in this game? Oh, roll body. Uh, body. Uh, that would be body. body. Be body. Yeah. Oh, 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 shit! No! <laughs> <laughs> this would be funny. This would be funny. Huh. Hang on, my my <laughs> rolls aren't showing up. Oh no. Oh wow, I'm so glad I asked that question. <laughs> You've on. made this scene funnier, Caitlin. You're welcome. <laughs> this is fun. Hmm. Well, that's weird. That is weird. That is weird. That is weird. Maybe slap F5 on it and see if it fixes it. Hmm. Uh, 
well. Nothing? Uh, uh, that is a negative. Are you not seeing the, the rolls? Oh, you know what? I had this problem on Tuesday. I was playing with uh, Mel and the other Kale and whatnot. I couldn't go ahead and uh, get, uh, I couldn't get the uh, roll 20 to load up. I opened it on another browser. For some reason, it worked. Weird. Uh, I used uh, Microsoft Edge to see if it worked. Oh. Huh. Weird. Weird. Bizarre. Bizarre. I will improvise. All uh, right. But yeah, but yes, um, the rolls were an eight and a four, which is a critical well, that was failure. Just for me. Well, the eight was just for me to get into the room. I'm going to be fair and roll body as well, but I wanted to hear how he was going to flavor this first. <laughs> All right. Uh, I was going to like, uh, I was just going to go ahead and bend around you real quick and get to the, uh, <gasps> get, to, get to the drawer before you. But how do you fail? How do I fail? Miserable. Uh, uh, I, I, oh yeah, I have to tail my rolls because um, uh, Connor can't see him. So I rolled two ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so four. I would say that, so I would say that I would bump into you, not expect you to be there, and I would just trip and fall fall all over you. Like, uh, all right, <laughs> here's my body roll. It. Here's the body roll. Oh, oh no! You got a ten. I, I'm so sorry. That's a ten. Oh no! I'm so sorry. That's okay. Uh, sorry. All right, then. You don't know why you, she's sorry yet. You you eat you eat floorboard. And you look up in time to see her wrench open the drawer, grab the clock in her hand, open the window, and just toss it. And just hear the bell going off the just like. Uh, as Apex would be out in the yard doing some calisthenics, can I try to catch that? Oh, God, do it. Roll for that. Please. This will be amazing. Just, just uh, a ringing clock comes swinging through the air. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and, and, and roll a, a body roll to see if you can catch this clock. All right. I'll say this. My failure state, like, if, 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 I, if I miss, like, if I go six or lower, I miss it. If I'm between set or if I'm uh, ten or higher, I catch it. Otherwise, I'm hitting it. Okay. Because I think it's something flying at me. <laughs> That's a 14. All right, I catch yeah. it. This is pretty fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this thing is <laughs> vibrating and making noise in your hand, and you turn it off. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> um. A nearby window. Yeah. Um, Apex will turn and see the red eyed Cynthia <laughs> disarming her rifle and standing away from the window. She was going <laughs> to shoot it out of the sky. <laughs> There's a lot going on this morning. Um, as soon as the, the thing is out of earshot, uh, Louise sort of blinks and she's like, looks like, wait, what? Looks over at Alvin. Oh. Oh, shit. I. I. Wow, I'm sorry. Nah, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. That's what looks, happens when you play a joke too far too long. Looks out the window, kind of squints her eyes. Oh, hey, Apex got it. Hey, Apex, oh. good catch. Mm. Go ahead and hand that back to the window, please. It's been a lucky day. I also found eggs in the trash. You did? <laughs> oh, that's a... that was man. A joke. I know, I know. Morning, just all full of surprises. Camera pans back over blue eyed Cynthia. Tell me you did not eat them. <laughs> Here's your Apex. Oh. How, Apex. Far is, how far up you is the all window hear, from uh, the ground? Uh, 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 from the ground, it's probably like a like five feet, maybe. Oh yeah, he can just hand it back to her. Go ahead, sorry, what were you saying up, Connor? You you all hear uh, a familiar voice from behind you all. 
It's been a while since I had any trash breakfast. <laughs> oh, oh no. How, oh, howdy, boss man. You know what? For the sake hey. of making this joke work, I will I will take six eggs out of my inventory. Sure they were the ones that looked a little here. more questionable. When I was a lad, I ate one dozen eggs. And eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I'm God. grown, I eat five dozen I eggs. I swear to God, both of you. <laughs> My and now I look like this. <laughs> oh, that's because they were deviled. The spirit of the deviled eggs. The bedeviled eggs. My yeah. top score is seven. Louise will gingerly take alarm clock and put it back in the drawer and close it and go to help Alvin up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry again. Um, no, nah, I, nah, I tried to stop myself. I didn't know you were in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sort of a sort of scratch the back of her head. It's uh, it's a bit of a reflex, a reflex, honestly. Uh, yeah, you're telling me everybody, uh, everybody in Yerval had one of them, right? Uh, it's not that. It's uh, the uh, other one. Me and Phil had an extended stay at. It was uh, usually pretty quiet, except every so often this alarm would go off, like you heard when we were there, and tended to be a little bit rattling. Oh, oh! I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the thing off for you. I didn't know it was what. I didn't know it was like that. I thought it was be, like like back in Bone Town. Oh yeah. shucks! I'm sorry, Cindy. No, I'm, I'm I mean, sorry, it's, there, it's, it's not a big deal. <laughs> you don't gotta cater it for me. Just you know, sometimes if I'm asleep and it jerks me, sometimes my body moves before my brain gets online. <laughs> I get you. You know, you know what's great for that alignment though. Coffee. Let's see if we can find some. Oh, Boss man, you have any coffee still? God. Nah. Should. Hmm. You know, I think I could probably get that old coffee machine working again. Hey, I Louise's could... eyes. Louise's eyes go anime wide. You. You could. Uh, it's. It's just like not as fancy as the one they have down at the. What's it called? Da Vinci's? I don't even remember. Oh, don't worry. They'll still get my money. But I just, you know, the more coffee, the better. <laughs> uh, let me let me see. I sound different because I'm sick, by the way. No, I'm sorry to hear that, boss man. Above game, <laughs> to be fair, when you're doing his voice, you don't really. <laughs> <laughs> Toss for emphasis. Uh, he, he works on it for about five minutes, and uh, he just grumbles and tosses his uh, screwdriver to the side. I uh, can't seem to get the th dang thing. Pilot light must be busted. Want me to go ahead and take a throw at it? Yeah, sit yourself. All right, let's see what I let's see. Is it Papa? Apex stands in the corner eating a deviled egg. Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you see something in inside of the old coffee pot that that boss man in his old mage old age may have just overlooked, uh, and you uh, you finish his work quite easily, and uh, you hear the. Coffee pot begin to percolate to life. Oh, there we go. There it is. I'm getting too old for this. No, don't sell yourself short there, boss man. Two-man operation. Heck, you taught me that. Sure, sure. Though it's starting to feel a little bit lonely here now. Yeah, I noticed. I didn't see, I didn't see Kathy when I walked in. Yeah, she's out and about. She's doing... Uh, some more odd jobs for us. Trying to get some caps flowing in. I heard, I heard what, that. What with boss man now? Or not boss man, I'm boss man. What with point man? <laughs> he off, is on, off on your mission. Uh, I have a lot more time to myself. I think I'm starting to go a little bit stir crazy. Have you heard anything from point man? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, yes. Uh, he hailed me on the radio a couple of days ago. Um, and? 
Well, he's... He's in good with these, uh, harbingers now. And, uh... No, he's, he's trying to... He's trying to make sure he fits in well enough, and he's, uh... Trying to track the movements, he thinks they're going to start to move again soon here. Not all of them. Some of them are going to stay behind at the airport to, you know, sort of hold down the fort. But it kind of seems like they're getting ready to move inward. Inward? Uh, where to? University, uh, maybe? He didn't give me much more than that. Well, looks like they're fitting to go ahead and get rolling, then. I have Did a bad he feeling. Give you any indication of what it was taken to integrate there? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. One more time. Uh, well, you said he was doing everything he could to blend in and get on the good side, so I was just wondering what. If he said anything about what he was doing. Didn't really mention it. Mm. But, uh, I'd have to assume he's, you know, using that soldier background and uh, playing into his strengths. Gotcha. Sounds about on par for boy, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that kid's one of the best shots I've ever seen, so. Yeah. They could use a guy like Point Man. Or, I don't even know what sort of crazy stuff. He mentioned that, uh. uh the, uh. Their enigmatic leader, the, uh. Bach guy. Yeah, about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He says that he's got some sort of, like, s supernatural control over the ferals. He yeah, says he'll I just... Seen like, I've seen something he, like that myself firsthand. He can just wave his hand and send them places. Bring them back. Mm. Without having to interact much. Mm. Clocks with what we saw at the bridge. She's already right. got her coffee now. Takes a huge sip. She just puts it to her forehead like, oh, mother, secret lover. Takes the cup away. Ouch. Red spot on her head now because it burned. I <laughs> <laughs> don't know it's rolling right. Yes, it's just, just a bit of a waiting game to find out more then, huh? I suppose so. The waiting's the hardest part, but... Well, we know that he's in uh, he's in good hands and he's still breathing. That's uh, that's that's all the good for me. Yeah, yeah I'm Cynthia, hoping he'll be able to. He's capable. That's not really the part I'm worried about. Either way, I'm glad he's all right. Mm -hmm. Me too. We were hitching out, uh, going to. Uh... Where are we going out again? Earth City, right? Oh, yeah. Chugs her last thing. Take Puts her cup down. Okay, ready for the day. Oh, first things first, though. Goes over to Alvin and gives him a big hug. Mm? Oh, oh, hey. What's that? Uh, you're cuddly and you're great at fixing things that make me happy. Thank you. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> no problem. Cynthia's eyes shift back and forth between the two. Huh? Oh, right. Cynthia, by the by. Uh, she goes into a pack and pulls out that blue syringe. Picked this up a little earlier, actually. I was wondering if you could Skype what's in it. Skype? Did I say Skype? Mm -hmm. yeah, you did. That's uh, boop, boop, well, boop, let me boop, take a look. Boop. Uh, is that a smart Connor? Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll me a smart. Seven. He smarts. Uh... Uh, so, so what is it you're trying to do with this again? Figure out what the blue stuff is. What is the mm. blue liquid inside this syringe that she discovered? 
Uh, remind me where you got the syringe again. Which I syringe this is? Was in the theater, wasn't it? Was it in the theater? Maybe. I, so. I, I feel like it was so. a late. Uh, it was earlier than that. Oh, that like I was know. it? Was it in the zoo? Maybe. It might have. It wasn't in the zoo. It might have been a zoo. That sounds sounds right. Sounds zooable. Like, did I take it off? <laughs> the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. Uh, look what you've done. <laughs> yeah, did I, I forget? Did I? Was that maybe one of the dead bodies I took it off of the mad cast? Uh, the archers. God, where did I get the stupid syringe? I wish I noted it. <laughs> I just put it in my inventory. I see. Uh, let me let me look through my notes and see if I. Uh... If if I'm looking at it after, if I'm looking at it in terms of the. Um, uh, order I've put my inventory in. Ugh. Is ballistics armor the archer armor? Uh, yes. Okay, then if I'm going by the order, it's in my inventory, which I assume is like I wrote it down the order I got it in. It looks like I got that needle after I got the ballistics armor, so I would assume it was after we left the arch, uh, the archer's high, uh, HQ. So it'd probably so be the zoo? Yeah, I'm guessing this might be the zoo. Like, maybe I got it off one of the dead archer bodies that we found. Oh, didn't you go in that, like, special area in the zoo early and then found stuff in there? Um, like that theater area or something? I don't think zoo. it was in the theater area. Or something like that. There was, like, an office or something. Oh, she's bugging me. It was before the MRA that Apex found in the cafeteria, I think, though. Yeah, it it's must have been in the zoo. It must have been in the zoo. It's not in your notes? I just have it listed as the syringe with blue liquid. Me. 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 Uh, well, um, what does a seven get us? Well, a seven will get you. Um, it takes you a minute to think about, um, and you you uh, you examine this and you realize that you've you've seen one of these before. You you've worked you've worked with this particular chem in the past. Uh, it is, uh, Med-X. Oh. Ooh, what does that do? Uh. It, you, I'll say you don't get the specifics for it, but you know it makes people more, it's, it's a powerful painkiller, is what it is. Okay. Uh, well, if you are injured in some way, shape, or form, it's a, a, a strong way to dull the pain. Oh. Hmm. Neat. All right. Keep that on hand for us. Let me know if you need it. I don't mind tossing it over to you if you want it, but I'll hold on to it for now. Uh. Is it, essentially, it's essentially, it's morphine. Oh, okay. So does it give mm. any points back, or is it Gun more like sauce. just gets rid of the pain? Because that can be uh, that can be two handed sword, two handed thing. To well, you know what I mean. Cynthia rolled a seven, so you know what it is, but you don't know exactly what it does. Yep, I figured that was the case. Uh, that's all I remember about it. It's good to have handy, but you should just hang on to it. Can do. Ah, <sighs> ready for the day. Yeah, I think I think we're all good. I do have my workstation right here, though, so if anybody needs an armor tooled up, I can probably go ahead and do that before we go. Uh, I don't think I'm in any bad way. I'm about as fixed up as I think I can get. I mean, I'm lacking a few points still. Can I, can, and is, uh, is Alvin a fit allowed to fix my armor yet again? He hasn't done it since the zoo. I don't know how many times you can patch this armor. Yeah, you're you're at a workshop, so I would say that you definitely have another shot to try and patch up your. Yeah, I'll, I'll 
I can get off the vest pain free now and just be like, well, still a few scorch marks left on this if you want to give it one more go now that we're in a proper place for it. Hey, if you have some <clears throat> resin or epoxy, you might be able to fix mine too. Yeah, slap it on the table. I think I got a. Hold on. Yeah, I think I got some stuff. Yeah, throw it on. I lay right. down. I lay down my scorpion abs. First oh, roll right. on Louise's armor. Yeah, fourteen. Oh, Very nice. Using uh, the can we fix it? Yeah, you gain back uh, two armor. This is that puts me back at full. All right, second roll for the abs. Eleven. You All also right. gain back two armor. And lastly, for your boy, that's me. <laughs> Ten. You likewise gain two armor. Well, rolled. hot dog. All right. Woohoo! Do do do. All right, Lou, build this. Check this out. This is. Probably, yeah, that'll do. All right. And there's you, Louise. There's... Oh, damn, you even got the scorch mark out. Nice. Oh, yeah. A little bit of solvent's good for doing doing stuff like that. High five. And... Oh, yeah, no problem. Hold up my hand. Move. Uh, let's see. Apex, uh, here's you. A little bit of a little bit of epoxy on the other side helps look, reinforce it a little bit. Thank you. Uh, hey, no trouble at all. My takes are getting used to on the underside, but it should work fine. And me should be. Yep. There we go. All right. All fit. All fit to go. All right. We ready to go to Earth City? Good place Unlike to probably find present. some good salvage and whatnot there too. We do have to get that uh those materials for that gentleman. Oh, that'll be just the thing we need. I wonder if those ghouls are still hanging out there. At least we can check in on them too if they are. I think we sent them back to uh Oh wait, no, yeah, they wouldn't go back because they had collars on. Yeah, they didn't want to risk uh Bach with their explode explodes. I am ready for adventure. Let, let's do it. Apex pops another egg in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Stop eating. They came from the garbage, <clears> Apex. <throat> Stop. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> elbowing away. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to like push the elbow down and grab it. Now I'm starting to eat him like a gremlin. Just oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Cynthia looks at Dave for a minute like, help, and then is like, never mind. His one true fear. Run, uh, run away all squat. Dealing with leg. Apex. <laughs> run away all squat legged. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a trash, the trash raccoon you are. Exactly. Just hissing. <laughs> it's good King Trash Mouth. Oh, King Trash Mouth. <laughs> all right, you, you saddle up and you get ready to depart to Earth City. And you know what? I think that's uh, as good a place as I need to take a break. Oh, I'm so hungry. Get you some. Food. I will be yeah. right back. Eat. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Well, I guess it's time for the Lanny and Rabbit halftime show. How y'all doing today there, Lanny? I'm doing pretty all right. How's you, Rabbit? I'm doing pretty all good. Now, you see what we got going on here is we've got the start of a side quest, ladies and gentlemen. Landy, lay it down. What is a side quest, and how does it help the party as a whole? Well, you see, as far as things go, the side quest is anything that does not advance the proper story, the main arc, if you will, of the campaign, but it does enrich the flavor of the world in which we inhabit, which is a very important part of any role-playing game. It lets you breathe life into something where life may not have been breathed. And it certainly does help out those lore people down in, down in the Wikipedias, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> now let's go to the phones. We got a trash can, trash can. Good conversation, trash can. Working pretty well for us all. It's a very good question, trash can. Very good question, very poignant. I really like that. I don't have many answers for it, but 
It was a good question. It, Very it was, handsome I th- question. I, th- I think it changed our lives. Both you and my, both you and my, I think it did go ahead and change those. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Ah. <sighs> Well, I think it's time we hit a commercial break here. Absolutely. I think it's time to hit a commercial break myself. I'm going to go ahead and get myself one of those good old-fashioned soldiers. <laughs> Holy shit. I have a whole Arizona iced tea in here. Yeah. Thanks, Pastor. How y'all doing today, chat? You having fun? You enjoying you, you enjoying our, uh, our goofs and gabs and fun and world building what have you yes and Lita I will embrace my inner trash panda absolutely (coughs) and Connor's here live from coughing Cough was a dead game. Coughing at you live. Coughing at you live. Coughing to you live. From Wichita. It's been a long time since I've been to Kansas. I've never been to Kansas. I've never been further west than, I want to say Missouri. No kidding. Well, yeah, in this country. In uh, Canada, I think the farthest west I was was Alberta. I think it was. I have my provinces correctly. Trying to remember which province Alberta is. I've been to British Columbia and I've been to Ontario. Uh, I think it's the big one, one to the right, if you're like on the left side of the continent. No. Yes. Maybe. Second from the left. Oh, fast Spartans trying to work out a gateway theme Fallout 4 run. Ooh. Dude, if I go dude, if I go to like Fallout 4 mods on Steam or something and I see like gateway mods, I'm gonna like shriek. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That would be that would be honestly pretty rad. If anybody would mod me the Apex's armor for uh, New Vegas, I would be super <sighs> down. Hey there, Sarah Sarah. Just... Ah. You have to hold me until I can get real food. Yeah, I'm, g- I'm glad I, like, grabbed some food before I started. Grab McDonald's. Mackie D's. I mean, it's good in a pinch, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> you know, I'm probably going to be a gremlin and go get Taco Bell after this. Dude, I had Taco Bell the other day. Taco Bell's good gremlin food. Oh, top top tier gremlin. Talk. It's cheap and it's going to be one of the few things that's still open. I mean, you say it's cheap, but like, man, a crunch wrap was like five bucks. I'm like, are you serious? I used to be able to take twenty dollars back in the day, go to Taco Bell, and feed an army of people at a land party. Ah, eh, I only get. I don't get. I don't get anything fancy. I always get the same thing. Two crunchy tacos, two soft tacos, all four with no lettuce. Nothing wrong with I'd that. be I'd be like the Rip Taylor of tacos. Like I would just have like a bag and just laugh while I'm just walking down the hallway. And that sounds like a tacos. Gex the Gecko line. <laughs> what the Rip it's Taylor? Like the, it's like the Rip Taylor of tacos. <laughs> Like, nah, you know, that nah, works crack. for me. Some of my references are understandably a little dated. <laughs> hmm. Freeze company? Me, Anyone? Like, you don't have to tell me. I was like, 
Mystery Science Theater 3000 was one of my biggest comedic influences growing up. And mm -hmm. even I at that time, that show. exactly. Even at that time, when I was watching it, the jokes were already dated. So, uh, <laughs> my sense of humor is like a generation and a half behind me. Which works, oh. because that means a lot of the shit that I do, like, a lot of the shit that I pull out there is stuff that people haven't heard, because they don't pay attention oh. to the classics. <laughs> exactly! Do you guys, guys want to hear a funny thing, actually? Yes. So, um, <clears throat> during the holidays, uh, me and Phil went out with, um, my friend Deb, because she wanted to give me a, a Christmas present, and, uh, we went to this place called, um, there's this, there's this, uh, British pub called, uh, Robin Hoods, which is actually run by, like, legit British couple. So it's one of the few places I can take Phil to get, like, a proper beef pie or something, right? Mm-hmm. And we're sitting, and, um, this lady in the table next to us strikes up a conversation because we were talking about, like, like, stuff about, like, citizenship and all that jazz between the countries. And she's like, oh, my husband is British, too. And she was telling us our, uh, her experiences and stuff. It's like, it's a nice conversation, and... She's there with her, um, she's there with her husband and their kid and their, uh, her parents. And, um, I, I look over every so often at, at her father and I'm like, I, this, this sense in my head of like, why do I recognize you? Why do I recognize you? And I was like, whatever, you know? And at, at one point I started talking to, uh, the, uh, the older woman and, and the husband, mostly her, mostly the, the wife. And she's just like, you know, and I said to them, are you guys, uh, in the entertainment business too? And she's like, oh, my husband was on Entertainment Tonight. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Hmm. He's Leonard Malton. Ha! And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, oh, that's not, yeah. fuck me, of course. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, okay, yeah. So I was like, oh, right. Um, Yeah, anyway, just spent more. I, I suppose that would happen out there a bit more often than anywhere else. Apparently... I found yet another place in LA that's like a gathering spot for like old industry people or just industry industry people in general. Um, what was funny though was like I until I went to the bathroom, I suddenly realized like, oh right, I recognized him because MST3K. Which I did mention to him as they were leaving, and he was just like, I was only in one episode. Everybody says that. <laughs> it was a good episode. It's true. I mean, it was a good sport about it, considering they had the one episode of The Undead where Mike dressed up as him, and he was like, I renounce everything that I am. I have danced with the proletariat in their wars. <laughs> I the fuck? Every time I think of entertainment tonight, I keep thinking of uh, Will Ferrell as Robert Goulet going, I'm in on entertainment tonight. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> anyway, that's my Leonard Malton story. Oh, you're getting a Surprising, soda. Surprisingly enough, I really don't see that many celebrities living out here. It, it's like once in a moon or a blue moon or so that I'd be like, oh, hey. Did you say you were the... eating a soda? No, I was getting a soda. And I heard oh, you talking okay. about Gex. <laughs> yes! And I'm like, could you imagine what the modern day Gex would be would, would be saying? I would. <laughs> uh, I, I would voice the new Gex in a heartbeat. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> This looks like a round earth party at Joe Rogan's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. Well. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> this is what happens when you get an Elon Mu Elon Musk mentions. Last time, I, last, time I, last time I saw this many monkeys, I was at the Bored Ape Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking, like, I, I looked at my IMDB because I was curious, and the things that are, like, in my, uh, what, what is it? Hold on, what section is this? <laughs> the personal details is oddly specific and accurate. Mm-hmm. On my IMDB. I'm, how do they know I'm 5'10 and 3 quarters? That, okay, that is frightening. <laughs> <laughs> you probably said it one time on a yeah. show. No, I, 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 I consistently will say I am 5'11 or 6 feet. Even if you said it like jokingly in a panel or something, there'll be that one person who remembers and be like, I'm updated as IMDb. Yep. Like, I, I am not unconvinced that my doctor might have done this. Like, this is odd. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you go in for your checkup, you just grab them like the apex and jack them up against the wall. Like, what did you tell them? <laughs> I mean, you're one of them, aren't you? You violated HIPAA. 
Was it not? No, never mind. That doesn't need to be said here. I I can't. I just looked up my IMDb, <laughs> and they've got it. A lot of my abridged credits, none of my actual credits, mm -hmm. and something I did back in like 2014 that I'm deeply ashamed of. Welcome, Welcome to, IMDb. to IMDb. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> Jinx. I uh, I uh, tried to look up my name on IMDb. Didn't bring up anything. Though apparently there's a dude with my name who was on Man on Fire. <laughs> I had to add Sarah Ann to my name because if without it, there's like 37 Sarah Williamses on MDB. Oh. They even they even know that my alternate name for things that I don't want to be credited in is Barry Allen. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh god. I think my name would just be simply Smeebles. Mm. The other one I'd go with would be Lanny Potter. Nice. Oh, that you see that one's good. That one's good. I'm going with Suck Dickman. <laughs> Suck Dickman. That's my <laughs> fucking name. I'll kill you. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be so much fun when you all just like join the union finally, and when you're at the desk there, they'll be like, "Oh, you can't use that name. Someone else has it." Yeah, probably. Fuck. Hey, I can give you. I have an alternative for you though. <laughs> what about a uh, brick dick bomb? Oh, Chug oh, Cockman. A... Wow. <laughs> Buzz Queefer? Nope. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh. Thanks for tuning in to Gateway, everybody. Ooh, ooh, wait, no. See more sluts. And I'm that out. Good. Taken. Come on, do the classic. See more butts. I, I thought that would be the common one that was taken, so I changed butts to sluts. Well, oh, fair enough. <laughs> I did my part. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. I can't believe there's only one person in the history of humanity whose name is actually Buzz. What? Yeah, it's Lightyear. No. Yeah, that's the one. No, no. Buzz Aldrin. That's the one, Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Are we ready to jump back into it, family? Let's jump. Ready as I can be. Go we ahead and more. jump. I got one more. Break wind. Brack wind. There you go. Brack wind. Yeah, brack wind. There you go. Excellent. Oh, wait. No, you're leaving. You gotta hit the... Hit the other music. There we go. Lonesome West. I am leaving. I never knew. There you go. Hope you're ready for horses. I do. All right. I am. And you depart Riverside at <clears throat> around noonish, I would say. The uh, Corvega uh, rumbles to life, and you. begin driving to Earth City. Let me see if anything stops you on the way. Where'd my dice go? where my dice? Oh. I've rested my cup on them. That's impressive. Where's my d20? Oh! It's in the dunce chair that my... I ate it. Uh, that that uh, Zen uh, gave me for Christmas. I've I've got a I've got a, a dunce chair for my dice. And it's nice. got it comes with a little <laughs> it comes with a little dunce cap too. Oh, that's cute. Alright, let's see. Let's see if you're running anything on the way. We'll wear it. Uh, yeah, as you're driving, uh, you see a group of about, about three 
um, ghouls uh, that appear to be in in uh, sort of a small uh, traveling group. They've got rifles slung over their backs, and they appear to be um, moving uh, back the road, the opposite of the way you guys are going. Do any of them look like they have collars around their neck? Um, <laughs> go ahead and make me a wits roll to see if you can determine that. That's a nine. Nine. Oh, hang on. I'm just... Yeah. Yes. Um... Yeah, you do think you see a flash of of uh, metal and the blinking of a light uh, at Apex points. I think they might be the ones that we left there, or at least a party to them. Oh, really? Well. I saw, a gl- I, saw a, I saw a glint coming off one of their necks. Mm. Well, that means they haven't gone off yet, so that's good. Oh, so yeah, that's a great sign. You want to say howdy, or you think we should mosey on? At the very least, we could let them know that there's a place they can get the collar removed. That would not be hurt. information. Yeah, that helped relations, huh? Cynthia will approach. And I assume we're in the car? We're in the car. Yeah. Um, you you the, slow. Not the stealthiest mode of approach. No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you pull to a stop, and uh, immediately you, you catch their attention as they probably haven't seen a moving car in a long time. Well, Louise will poke her head out. Hey! hey Apex's head is already out. You guys from Earth City? Uh, no. Now that we're closer, did I see a bomb collar? Um, they, uh, now that you're stopped, uh, yes, it, it does look like, it does look to be, uh, bomb collars, and, uh, there are... Uh, only two of them have bomb collars on. The uh, there is a, a shorter, uh, masculine-looking individual who does not have a bomb collar on. Yeah, Louise is actually kind of confused. You guys weren't with all that group in Earth City before. The ones that got caught and the um gestures to her neck. Oh, uh, no, we um we are from uh. I think I know who you're talking about, but no, we're a different group. Uh, also got caught, as you can see. Um, we're going to try and get our collars off. Um, yeah, no, we heard about you guys, actually. Um, <laughs> Grins, we're famous. The group that you're talking about, they, they crept in shortly after that whole... Uh, thing with the uh, arena happened and they got their collars off and slipped out unnoticed. Oh, excellent. Is that what you guys are going to try and do? Yeah, pretty much. We hear that the arena's pretty quiet these days. Hmm. Quiet how? Well, uh, just from what I'm gathering, they... The, the family has stopped sending out patrols altogether. Glances at Alvin. Do you think that's Big O's influence? It'd be like, go ahead and consolidate. Hmm. Apex smiles under his mask. Well, I guess good luck to you guys then. <clears throat> yeah, we're just about to go ahead and tell you the information if y'all didn't know it. 
Yeah, well, if we don't get these collars off, we're gonna die one way or another. Better to not have a thing around my neck. Tell Big O the runaways send their regards. Yeah, we're not your messenger, Smooth Skin. We're gonna get in and get out. Yeah, but that might get you quicker service. Well, to be fair, Apex, it sounds like they're gonna try and just avoid everything like the other ones did. But if you do, Louise says them, if you do happen to get into trouble, say that, that might help you. The machine. Make a, get... make a charm roll. Why is it always my worst one? I'm so bad at it. Okay. Eh, that negative one gets me every time. That's part six. Of me, part of me wants to intimidate. Tell him <laughs> we sent. <laughs> tell him, oh give him God. a message. No. no. Give them the compliment. Uh, the, the ghoul uh, without the bomb collar on, uh, and especially the two who do have the collars on, look unswayed by your words. Shrugs. Just saying. As I said, good luck to you. We're not exactly oh. all about playing nice with a bunch of slavers, but... Uh, oh, uh, the machine I used uh, to go ahead and pop those things off, uh, it's in the lobby straight ahead and lower. Yeah, we were told. All right. uh, well, just making sure y'all knew. What slavers are we playing nice with? The, the ones family. That we killed. They're uh, dead. The, the, well, the ones still at the arena, Cynthia. <laughs> you know, the few that we didn't. <laughs> right. Mm. I always forgot we left stragglers. I mean, uh, survi survivors. Uh, a few left. Yeah. <laughs> it's dubious. We sniggers. Cynthia, you're becoming positively cold-blooded. Well, I don't really uh, have a stomach for slavers, so. Or a stomach. Thank you, <laughs> I get it. Apex. Or blood. Because. <laughs> <laughs> I get oh, it. Dave, <laughs> <hi>. <laughs> oh, Dave, hi. Oh, I mean. <laughs> I thought that was Dave that said I get it. Yeah. <laughs> No, it, it was. was. It, it was. It was. Okay, yeah, yeah, he yeah. just was wanted to be saying. involved. I've been in the car. <laughs> like, I'm here. He's, he's just been sitting in the back playing on his pit. You, <laughs> you didn't swap companions, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dalliard's just still chilling in Riverside. <laughs> I'm still here. Uh, oh, uh, poor Mr. Dalliard. Cynthia just turned straight forward. Have a nice day and starts driving. <laughs> <laughs> you continue moving on to Earth City. <laughs> ah! Oh, the goodwill's drying up at a well and a sun and like a sun swell. Let's go. <laughs> and you make your way. <coughs> you make your way towards the 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 drowned ruins of Earth City. Uh, quite the muggy and muddy place on the best of days. Um. Oh, you know. I suppose I could see what the weather is like. The weather. Okay. That beautiful weather dice. Uh, it is overcast, so it's not raining, but it, it, it looks like it could. It is a, a bit of a gray, dreary day. Which okay. uh, goes well, meshes well with your uh, <laughs> dreary surroundings. <laughs> Yay! Da -da -da, da -da -da. So, um, hey, oh, sorry, Ed. Well, this place looks like a page out of just the saddest looking thing ever. As pretty as I remember. So, Apex, as our resident Myrlurk expert here, what say you? How do we approach this? Well, 
they're pretty slow, but they're armored on top. Their underbelly is the softest part of them, but even that carapace can be pretty tough. The softest part of them would be the inner part of their mandibles and beneath their joints. So, headshots, basically. And limb shots, yes. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Good the wife from Power Fist hasn't failed me yet. I'll just go toward the bends. Should we also think about, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing a full extermination job, but we don't got a guarantee that they might not come back. Should we think about maybe figuring out a way to get them out and keep them out? For long term? Is there even some kind of way to repel my lurks? Uh, not that I know, but again, I'm just trying to think proactively. I How only watch I only watch them eat. They can tear through a human corpse in about ten minutes. Actually, is that something I can roll on, Connor? Uh, it would be a smarts roll, I think. Here, I'll take that. If you're yeah. if you're trying to determine w the Ugh. weaknesses of your average, uh... another six. Yeah, unfortunately, Mirelurks are not. Y you've learned to stay away from Mirelurks. They're they're as far as the the hostile animals of the wasteland go. Mirelurks are among the hardiest and the meanest. Okay. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Oh, I got I got something I might be able to go ahead and pause it, Connor. Uh-huh. Um, if when I was part of the White Razors, we lived around places with Myolurks and whatnot, could I be able to recall anything on which we would use to go ahead and get them out? That'd be another smarts roll, I think. All right, let me, let me see. I got a 12. A 12. Uh, so... You're you're talking about what what Mirelurks would how you would essentially deal with Mirelurks? Yeah, like uh were they mostly in places with like a certain type of water and then we changed it or like just like you know just dope up and beat the crap out of them or just like anything like that. Basically whenever you would be essentially forced to uh stay some place that wasn't ideal uh, just due to your lifestyle, um, you would learn quickly that that in sort of damp, uh, muggy, watery places uh, is where Myrlurks would lay their eggs, and you would essentially have to clear those out because they're Myrlurks are prone to hatching when in proximity to things. Ah, like so uh, you, alien eggs. Yeah, they they essentially yes, essentially, and and so you would have to basically destroy a bunch of Myrler eggs in order for that place to be safe again, and that usually pisses them off. Hmm. Facts. Well, back in the day when I was going ahead and uh, running around with Jet and all them. Uh, We'd have to normally clear out all the eggs if we were in the place with them. The eggs will go ahead and hatch if we get near them. And very normally lay eggs in places that look... I wave a hand to beautiful Earth City. <laughs> Just still, muddy, blue water. So if you get near them, they'll go ahead and hatch and go ahead and bounce it up on you. And also, if you start destroying all the eggs, every mile lurk and sniffing distance will go ahead and crash down on you like a son of a bitch. Uh, I should say, with your with your twelve, you know that m mature eggs will will hatch on their own when in proximity to food, assumedly. Okay, okay. Uh, mature eggs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to guess the bigger eggs, right? Yeah, the bigger eggs. The bigger eggs you got to watch out for because they'll go ahead and hatch out and then just take you on the wires. Smaller eggs you can go ahead and deal with, but if you do start busting up the eggs and whatnot to go ahead and make the place safe, every damn mile can sniff a distance, like I said, it's just going to come crashing down on you like a rainstorm. Hmm. Supposing to be a way 
There's a thought, actually. Because Connor, the water around here is still in like a bog, right? Yeah, it's essentially like a a a swamp. <laughs> you've you've seen the urban jungle. Now look at the urban swamp. Only here in beautiful Topeka. Um. Only Posing here in away. Gulp Deep, Missouri. <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> Supposing that by way, we could go ahead and get a water flow going. Might be able to wash it out. They wouldn't be able to lay eggs in places maybe moving. Wild thought, mm. I know. And we'd have to find one hell of a water system to go ahead and start flushing this. So I think the uh, old adage of uh, stay away from the bigger eggs unless you're ready for them and start busting up the other eggs would probably be the best way to go about it. Yeah, Apex points to the uh, staircase leading into the mall. or it, it was like a mall, right? Yeah. It was... Uh, yes. That is where the majority of them were. That is where I fed them the body of the lady that we didn't like. Oh, you did, huh? Grimaces. All oh, right. Ooh. Right. <coughs> Let's see. How many did you count last time you were in there? Uh, I probably didn't go very far in. I probably just went to like where I found like the first batch of them. But do you want me to roll anything to see if I can recall like their their popu their approximate population? Uh, sure. What would you like me to roll? Um, that'd be, uh, to remember something? That'd be a wits, I think. Ten. 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 Um, just given the vast area, um, and, and just how sunken and, and, and caved in everything is, uh, you could... You could determine that there uh, are probably quite a few Mirelurks. Um, maybe at least a at least over a dozen. There was, by the amount I saw feeding, there are at least a dozen in there. I was expecting a lot less Apex. Oh, damn. Mm. We do got to work on getting this place cleaned out. Uh, yeah, supposing we could go ahead and divide them somehow. That'd be helpful. I was just <coughs> trying to think of a uh, Marlurks. Now, they like mucky water water that no one would be using for drinking purposes right yeah essentially water ain't no fit for no one just mur just murky water honestly you know maybe that's right. what my lurks actually my so, water i'm wondering uh, my lurks my lurks they don't do they uh they do breathe in a way yes Air, not water. But they often find themselves in water, correct? It is their natural habitat. So if I were to say... I might need to fetch Mr. Dalliard. I do have an idea. What I got a gallon... Now? jug of chlorine and a gallon jug of antifreeze sitting inside Daliard's compartments. If we could poison their water supply. I think you'd need more than a gallon of each. Well. Yeah. Pool in there is large. Well, right. large. But if we could find their nest at least. That might do it. Any eggs they would have would not find the uh, nourishment it might need would cause a distraction. Most of them would be trying to defend the eggs, but the eggs would be dying in the process. 
So we'd be able to pick off a few that would come after us, I'd imagine. Hmm. Uh, wish we had another dead body to work with. That seemed to work with him pretty well. We could go yep. find one or make one. Apex. <laughs> when he says make one, <laughs> she pauses for a brief moment. Just like, hmm. Apex, I know. I know what you're getting at, but we probably shouldn't just indiscriminately ha kill people. Have just have, just a part of Alpha's just like, damn, you are hardcore in character. <laughs> Why don't we just do a little drive by, see what the situation might be, and uh, uh, go from there. I can show you where I saw them. That works. Good That's starting point. Starting point. And we could also go ahead and find good good baiting spots. We're gonna go ahead and do the bait trick. Yes. Eh, I guess if all else fails, she pulls out that bot, that thing of dynamite. Got this! Is that the only one we have? Yeah, you could trigger. You could trigger pretty good. Uh, trigger Again, pretty, pretty just gives her a look like. Just gives her a look like it's not like they're in high supply. Right. I just. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, that that dynamite and the way that building looks. Hmm. Maybe no. if you painted them all in one spot, you could go ahead and use that dynamite cause a cause hmm. a boom that could go ahead and cause a rock slide on them. No, yeah. won't lie. Dynamite's pretty useful to have, so I hesitate to use it for this purpose, but... Why don't we just bait a couple of them out? I still got five rounds for my hand caster. Yeah, yeah. Put it I'll on the back, her. shell awful fast. And scrap's easy enough to come to buy. I got a, I got a six cents for looking for stuff like that, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> well, let's go see what we're working with, and then we'll go from there. And then we right. do have a ma we do have a mini magcaster that might cut through them a bit easier. Yep, a handcaster would be useful for that. Apex <laughs> begins to lead the way. Yep, yep, yep. Alvin comes to the realization that both the girls really do want to shoot the old handcaster. <laughs> I got to. It was great. One time, it's mine now. I'm not sure. <coughs> you, got the, you got the dinky one. I had the real thing. I know, but I still have the dinky one, and you don't have the real thing anymore. You'll never know what it's like to shoot the real thing, though. Not yet. <laughs> 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 anyway, as as they have their passive aggressive battle, Apex leads right, the ladies. way into the mall. <laughs> yes. Uh. uh. Yes. I'm just trying to pull up what this friggin' building looks like. Uh, Eto. Is know. this it? <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um. Begin to see some familiar sights as you, uh, go downhill and begin, uh, trekking through. Uh, the mud to get a closer look at the inside of this uh, lo looks to be uh, I, w I was mistaken it's more of a warehouse than a mall gotcha mm. uh, a large beige building um, you look inside and you see that the, the interior of the floor is all flooded and you see uh, muddy sediments on the ground beneath the water. Um, and just uh, caked on the walls and, and the floors and uh, in several places you see a big off-white uh, Mirelurk eggs uh, that are clung to the walls via muddy, uh, muddy cysts. There are the babies. Yep, these are the ones that ain't gonna explode out on you, I don't think. 
Gonna have to take care of them too, I guess. And then I point to the uh, still water, and that's where the big ones are. Hmm. Let me look at my items. Fast. Are I they? will. I will take a chunk of mole rat meat. <laughs> Actually, no, rad scorpion meat. That's probably getting nice and stinky right now. And I will just chuck a honk of that into the middle and watch the feeding frenzy. All right, you chuck a honk in there, and go ahead and make a. I'm, I'm assuming you're going to try and, and hide yourself after you do this as well. Yeah. Nope, just going to stand right out in the open. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll, so make I'll, a... I'll, I'll do basically the same thing I did when I hurled a body in there. Gotcha. Go ahead and make a wits roll. Seven. Seven. All right. Yeah, as... As you throw the uh, very uh, ripe rad scorpion meat chunk into the center of this warehouse, and it hits the floor with a wet plop that echoes throughout. And you go to hide yourself, and you hear uh, a few seconds pass, and then... A, a slight, slick shifting sound as several Mirelurks begin to unearth themselves and shake the excess mud from their forms, begin to crawl towards the uh, rotting meat that they smell now. Apex just points. Hmm. It's about f it's about uh three that you can see. Well, if we're working off your number, that's probably a fourth of them. Hmm. Do I see the bones of the uh, person that I left behind last time anywhere? Or have those uh, been consumed as well? Make another wits roll. Ten. Ten? Um, as you're now looking around for it, um, you sort of see a, a, a tuft of red hair uh, poking out of, of uh, what appears to be some sort of makeshift food pile. That the Myrlurks have sort of made for themselves. Uh, and you see the the bloated, slumped over carcass of the member of the family that you threw to these Myrlurks. Yikers. That's Sur a gruesome scene. Surprised there's even that much left. You it would traumatize anyone, but it would not traumatize the Apex. The apex Probably was there not. for the the apex was there for the frenzy part of it. Probably not the rest of us at this point either. <laughs> Alvin's seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> Alvin's made worse. <laughs> Alvin's done worse. It's true. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Alvin's gonna go ahead and take a look at like the walls and what have you of this uh, building. Does it look like there's any like weak points in the wall that maybe <coughs> a blast or a good flack would go ahead and maybe cause it to drop in on the Meyer Lurks or cut them off. Um, or... You're looking specifically for like a fault point. Yeah, any uh, fault points in the structure. So go ahead and make a smarts roll I would say for this. Okay. 14. God Whoa. damn. Okay. Yeah, the structural integrity of this building is already not great. Um, there appear to be a few support beams, uh, or pillars 
that uh, line the uh, that line the sides of this structure from the inside. Uh, a couple of them are already crumbled away, and you you'd bet that any any significant amount of damage to one of them would cause even more significant damage. Hmm. Hey, Apex. Hmm. I'm Take just watching up. them eat. Take a look over there. You see the support beams there, there, there? Hmm. This whole place is one good blast away from caving in up on itself. Hmm. I reckon if I were to go ahead and last resort, take this, go ahead and pump my power fist for a second. Or if we use an explosive or whatnot, like that dynamite or maybe one of these hand grenades or whatnot. Just a little bit more damage to those structures. Probably go ahead and cause this whole place to fall fall in on itself. Or at least seriously damage the population of Mallorx. Hmm. Problem is getting over there unnoticed. Hmm. I'm not exactly, uh, the sneaky and Hmm. Well, you are, though, but how are you all about my works? Because critters and whatnot, one thing, but, like, these things are... I'm gonna tell you, uh, these things are no joke. My prey is bigger. All right. I think we got a game plan. If you want to go ahead and try like that. I... Hey, Cynthia, Luis, Dave, come over here for a minute. Yep. Uh, group what? cuddle? Yep, group cuddle here. All right. Group cuddle? Uh, I, I, Luis I said... kind of snickers at that. Oh, I said... Gr oh. Look, I did a half sneeze and I Listen, started. we're all <laughs> here right now, Alvin, not just Louise. Apex throws his hands, <laughs> throws his arms around as many people as he can as they huddle in. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, for a second, fun. Louise is like, wait, what? And then yeah. Apex does the thing and it's like, oh, okay, here we go. Now it really is a cuddle. Oh, I thought it was a, oh, tuddle. That, that's what it was. Anyway, so I went ahead and figured, I went ahead and, uh, figured out there's about three milers that came up to go ahead and feed and whatnot up there and i looked around the stru and i looked around the structure of this place this whole place looks like it's one good strike away from going ahead and falling in off itself so i told apex i reckon if we go ahead and i still have an old hand grenade here we have some old explosives like louise's dynamite and whatnot we set it up probably hell one two one place would be would be good maybe but Three, two, there, there, there. That'd probably go ahead and bring down the entire thing. Apex says that the only thing is getting is getting somebody to sneak up over there. I'm not the sneaky kind of sort. We could go ahead and do it one or two ways. We could go ahead and either cause a distraction while go ahead and uh, somebody goes ahead and sets those up. Or Apex, if you're up to it, maybe... Would you? Did you ever read any comics on how to go ahead and set explosives into like, you know, sabotage up the place, like set them up in like a port beam or whatnot, like over there and that little crumbling little crevice right there, what have you? I wouldn't. Well, uh, I know how to work the explosives we have. The problem is all of them are very short fused. Glances at Cynthia, or. Cynthia, can I take a wild guess? Since you were in the army, you might have some know-how about this. Yep. Same yeah, thing. the... The short fuse is gonna be a bit of what the problem is, though. Oh, hell. I mean, that's not to say we couldn't try shooting it from a distance, but that doesn't guarantee that it's gonna light. 
Do we still have the uh, little switch that we had for the bomb collars previously? Uh, I think Ooh, so. Ooh, that's a great idea. Hold on. Let me... I think it would have <coughs> gone... Um, if, if we still had it, it would have gone to Alvin, because I still have a few... Uh, deactivated bomb collars that I grabbed. Uh, the the switch. Yeah, that we stole from the person here. The oh, person that I yeah. fed to the, the person that I fed to these people. Um, That's why you did throw that to me, didn't you? Because the only way I could think. Of, like, if we still had that, the only way I could think to possibly make these explosives work somehow would be if Alvin were to engineer a way to make these deactivated bomb collars work with the explosives that we have and set it to that trigger mechanism. <sighs> um, yeah, I think I do remember you, you picking up that sort of uh, short-term radio trigger. Um, yeah, I, I think you, you could try to wire it to work like that. Make like, uh, make like weird make like a chain bath detonation off the collar. bathtub sentex sort of. Yeah. yeah, essentially, I have a frag grenade, we have a stick of dynamite, Alvin has a frag grenade, and I have uh, four deactivated bomb collars. We have way more explosives than I remembered. <laughs> I, I, I stole the grenade from the uh, Terminator. Oh, yeah! And I stole grenades back in the first episode, and I went ahead and made uh, corpse traps. <laughs> It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> so if you could somehow wire these to that, then maybe, I don't know. It's not my... Mm. <laughs> I pull out the PC power cable. I also have this. Well, the, uh, the bomb collars, I think if they are deactivated, but there are still explosives inside, so... There are? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been yeah. holding these. Oh, Apex, yeah. tell me you knew that. That's why. I, yeah, no, they don't explode themselves. There's a little bit of um. There's there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a kind of explosive in there. It's it, it's inert, but yeah. What I mean is, we could set those up and shoot them from afar, and they would explode. That would be. Would the explosion be big enough? These are if only we combined meant to it with ahead. the grenades, if we set them by each other, they would set the other one off. Chain mm. reaction. Exactly. Could always yeah, do let the. See, let me see those bomb collars. I got a flat head and a pocket full of ideas. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and say here. And I'll work at trying to, uh, I'll work at extracting the, uh, fun explosive stuff out of the, uh, bomb collars. Okay. Please don't blow your hands off. Make me a smarts roll. I got roll by uh, hands. Yeah, smarts roll, I can feel that coming. Ten. <sighs> okay. Uh, you take, uh, probably about half an hour to... Uh, safely strip these bomb colors of their explosive payloads. And know. now what you have is some truly inert uh, regular old collars. I now have four collars. But they don't like know bomb they're collars. not moms. <laughs> and you've, you've, you've got sort of these uh, these strips of plastic explosive that look like they went all the way around the collar. They were sort of like so ooh, excuse me, sewn into the uh the leather of the collar itself. Oh, that's clever. Never seen plastic explosive look so noodly. 
Hmm. But Gl- glances over his shoulder. Think we could just tie him up to the frag grenades, or that work? Or just, just tie him to the posts. I measure the noodle against my arm, and then look over at the uh, pillar. Hmm. Here, Louise. Let me let me a hand. Wrap half of the uh, wrap half of this bomb rope, I guess I'll call it, uh, around one of the grenades, and just let the other half of the rope just hang limp. Mm, we can go ahead. Enough. We can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and stick the. Uh, we can go ahead and s- stick the uh, other half of this uh, bomb rope up into maybe a crack. Or another weak point of that same of that same structure, and when you go ahead and shoot the explosive, shoot the uh, or shoot the uh, plastic explosive, part of it's going to go ahead and cause the explo- the other explosive that is tethered to to go ahead and explode, and then the resulting explosion will cause that rope to go ahead and just burst out, and that'll go ahead and cause even greater damage to that structure. I reckon. Huh, I'm on it. All righty. I will tie the bomb bomb ropes. Bomb ropes. <laughs> bomb ropes to the frag grenades. <laughs> All right. Alvin Bronson pa- Alvin Bronson here with a patented bomb rope. <laughs> uh, do you got to go. Do you got to tie someone up and or blow them up. Boy, how do I got the job for you? <laughs> it's just a regular piece of rope with, with, with like a couple of frag grenades tied in between the pieces. It's a rope made of Simtex. <laughs> all right so go ahead and do another smarts roll to see if you can cobble together this uh, weird semtex grenade that you've made yeah alvin you 13. roll all assist. never mind he's fine yeah um you you've got an idea in your head and you execute it uh, you wrap and press and mold this, uh, sort of, uh, stringy explosive material around this grenade, and wh- what you've got is a, uh, remote-activated grenade. Alrighty. No I pin necessary. Convenient. I think these little babies are set to go off. Now we just got to go ahead and plant them there, 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 and, uh, bada bing. So one of them is attached to a grenade, one of them is attached to dynamite, and the other one is attached to a grenade, right? Mm Mm-hmm. You got two grenade, one dinomite. (laughs) Ha! Apex (laughs) gingerly holds them. So which pillar looks like the one that, like, would do the most damage if it went out? Because the dynamite should probably go for that. There is uh, there is one pillar that is sort of in the back right-hand corner that you can, you can see is actually already buckling under its own weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these up and then shoot them from afar? Yes, that is a play. Yes. All right, then. Okay. Apex. Now, don't worry too much about them. They aren't going to go off unless they, uh, until Louise and Cynthia go ahead and start shooting off at them. Apex right now, nods, just... and he kind of stuffs them into, like, the waistband of his pants. Right now, they're just really funny-looking lumps. Now, I'm going to plant my... Alvin's going to plant his hands on Apex's shoulders. You sure you want to do this? Apex nods. If it is the safest way to take care of the problem. All right. If those my alerts so much as sniff in your direction, you go ahead and rush right back to us and we'll start boxing them out the old fashioned way, all right? If they start sniffing in my direction, they will regret it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you were one tough son of a bitch, Apex. All right. Go get it done, fella. I believe in you. 
My mother is a nice woman. I say as I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Cynthia sidles up to Alvin. Did he just shove bombs into his pants? They're inert. Well, until y'all shoot him. But yes, he does have bombs in his pants. I... Uh, all right. I, he just I, backs away. I figured sometimes with Apex, you just give him carte blanche to do whatever the heck he wants. Yeah, no, you're right. I can't stop him. I'm going to keep my eyes on the lumpy, <laughs> muddy floor, and I'm going to do my best to sneak through uh, towards the back pillars. All right. That's going to be a wits roll. Habushka! That's a nine. That's a nine? You are relatively certain that you're hidden. Uh, as you are sort of sloshing your way through the mud, however, you get the sense that though you are silent, you're the simple act of you moving and your body heat, heating up the mud around you seems to be, what the heck was that? That's a good question. The mud yeah, stirs. Looks. <laughs> the mud goes, <laughs> uh, you hear shuffling out of the uh, mud uh, in this warehouse is two more Meyer lurks that appear to have been uh, they 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 appear to sense something. They don't see you. They're not alert to you right now. But but there are more of them that are active now. I I slink down like kind of like lowering myself into the mud a bit. And Louise and them sees this. Oh yeah, you would you would probably hear it. It's it's a very large creature unearthing itself from the mud, so it's like a deep sound. Okay, Louise sort of mutters. Hmm. I think I want to make a distraction for him. Probably some tin cans or what. Really comes down to it. Go ahead and one of them one direction hard. I think I can do one better. Louise will uh, uh, grab out the two cans of cram from her pack and open them up. And she is going to huck them in a direction away from Apex. And hopefully they'll go for that and eat that for a little bit. Alrighty. Go ahead and make... Uh... Hmm. This be... Body roll? Uh, you're trying to... Ass you're trying to assist... Uh, apex of the sneaking, so it's not necessarily a, a, a strength thing. This is more of a more like acting defensively. So let's go ahead and say wits. Okay. Ten. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, you uh, take your can of cram, your vital food that you need to survive. And yeah, I have it. a snack cake pack and still six deviled eggs. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Huck it into the muddy cistern, uh, and it lands with a very satisfying plop. Uh, two cans of cram, by the by. Two cans of cram land with a satisfying pl plop. <laughs> uh, and. At once, all of the active Mirelurks now turn their gazes towards this sound, and you you see their feet sort of shuffling them along in the mud, uh, very insectoid uh, sort of way that they move with their arms raised, sort of moving with purpose towards this noise, and you seem to have uh, quite readily distracted them. While they are distracted, I am going to begin moving again with purpose, but vigilance. All right. Go ahead and make uh, make two wits rolls and take the better of the two. Oh. Huh. I mean. Both of those are massive successes, so. All right. Now that you're, now that you're moving towards, uh, now that you're down further against the floor, you're not stepping so much as you are wading, uh, wading or gliding through uh, the mud now and uh, getting a feel for it uh, getting a feel for it you are quite confident that that uh, nothing else really senses you as you've trod forward 
I'm studying their movements and moving as they move. Becoming one with the Meyer lurks. And there you go. The I begin to I, be I begin to scuttle. <laughs> yeah, you you scuttle towards the uh, structurally unsound pillar. Uh, you're almost there at the back. Just gonna need one more from you. One more wits roll. Twelve. Very nice. Sport, sport, sport. Skitter, skitter, skitter. You actually see Apex kind of like hunching his back and just like, like, uh, Igor walking. Just yeah. <laughs> I, th I think he's trying to emulate. He hasn't taken his eyes off of the active Mire Lurks, aside from like to like look left and right to make sure he's not running into a lump of them. Yeah, they appear <coughs> they appear to be uh investigating a, a disturbance that is well behind you at this point. Alright, now it's just a matter of uh how high up is the crumbly part of this pillar? Um you would be able to reach it if you stood to your full height. Oh, well, then I'd like do a, that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it's, it's pretty obvious and also very low to the ground. That's why it looked like the perfect spot to set this up. How much do I need to climb? Stand. Oh. <laughs> That's no fun. <laughs> uh, I... Yes. I yes. I, I I I find the best hold to kind of like Jimmy the uh, dynamite into. You see the sort of uh, crumbling cement of this structure, and you wedge these explosives into the weakest spot that you can find, and it's set up. Now it's just a matter of making it back. Oh, I thought there were other pillars I had to bomb up. I mean, you can if you want to. There are other I pillars. Have, I, I, I have three explosives. I was putting the dynamite into this one. All right. You, you, you've you set up the dynamite on this one pillar. And now it's just a matter uh, of traveling along the walls. Yes. I look between the two pillars. I, I, which corner of this? Uh, uh, you're in the right. In. You're in the you're in the far right hand corner of the warehouse. So back right. Yes. And I came from. I mean, obviously the front, but let's see. Which of the other remaining pillars look the weakest from this point of view that Alvin had pointed out to me? Um, the one to the opposite end of you. You you see that? Uh, so so back left. Yeah the the. Or no, it's it's up and to the left of you. You you can see across from you. One of the uh, one the 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 pillar directly across from you is not supporting anything. It is broken off. You can see a part of the ceiling has sort of collapsed in and let in probably a bunch of rainwater. That's you 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 see there's like a a large puddle that is formed directly beneath that area uh, where where it's just you can't even see. Do not go there. Bad idea. Gotcha. All right, so I will, uh, so this is kind of back the way I came and then to the left? A yes. Little bit? Yes, that is correct. Okay, then I will begin traversing that way to attach right. the next of these bombs. Of course, that's probably also back towards the lurkers. Yes, that is true. Uh, let me roll to see if they're still interested in this noise. And they're, uh, in, they're in. Yeah, Lu Louise, uh... Roll off with me. Just roll 2d6. All right. Um, six. That's the average. That's a four. Huh. And a three. Ha! Huh. 
So that's a seven. seven. Oh. I was for each of them. I got really, I got really excited. I thought you rolled for both of them. I was like, oh, I did good. I was like, no. <laughs> no. Yes, the the uh, Mirelurks, uh, oh. having having seemingly found the source of your uh, uh, of this disturbance, sort of poke and prod at the cram for a little bit. They bring it over. They they grab both of the cans in their claws, and one of them scuttles over and just throws them at the corpse of that uh, <laughs> of that the member of the family. Oh Just God! She ping, gets no dignity in death. Pinging off of her dumb, broken body. <laughs> her dignity in death was being my National Geographic. <laughs> and you, you have lost the advantage uh, of that of their distraction apex. So right, it's, it's just, just going to be a straight, straight wits roll. Straight wits. Fifteen. Don't matter. Ooh. I am you one with the. I am one with the Meyer yeah. You didn't need any help. I am the uh, Jane Goodall of Meyer <laughs> you, you, you utilize the Apex's superpower, which is mimicking the way animals do. That is how the Meyer do. That is the how the Meyer is gonna say yes. Thank you. <laughs> Today the Merlurk. Look at I that am, one. He's crazy. I am as the Meyer Lurk am. Oh, look at him smile. He's just a baby. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Uh... <laughs> the apex is a crab now. Welcome hey, to the crab. I apex. think I'm a crab now. Uh, and yeah, you're uh, with that roll. You you shuffle uh, fast and quiet over to the other pillar. And you can set up your uh, bathtub Semtex grenade right there. All right, I'll set up this other bathtub Semtex. Uh, this one probably doesn't have as many good places to attach to, I'm guessing. Or do uh, it? I mean, it uh, the plastic explosive is meant to, like, adhere to things, so. Yep. Oh, fair enough. I just... Uh, it kind of, like try to attach it at eye line with them so that they can mm. shoot it proper. You Play-Doh it onto the side of this pillar. And then there's just one left. Is, plastic explosive is the sticky buddy of bomb. Uh, what does, like, what's the roofing situation? Is there, like, a scaffolding up there, or is it just, like, ridged roofing? Um. I know that's probably one of the most annoying questions to ask when you're working with Google <laughs> Images. I, I don't have an aerial view here. But I'll do my best. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure it's like uh. Yeah, it's it's just like uh, metal and concrete. It's it's not meant to be fancy. It's meant to be a warehouse. Um, it looks pretty sturdy, but clearly something is given out, and uh, gotcha. part of the, part of the roof if... has collapsed in. Yeah, I was just checking to see that, like, if I had scaled this pillar somehow, if I could, like, monkey bar my way around something. But, yeah, most warehouse roofs don't seem to have that kind of scaffolding. All right. Uh, then I am just going to... Uh, the next load-bearing pillar, which I guess I have no good frame of reference for, uh, that is closer to my companions. All right. That would be the one that is directly opposite to you again. So it's going to be one last... Uh, one last wits roll to try and, and set this up. All right. I take a deep breath. Oh my god, I... That is... Oh, holy oh, moly, dude! You oh, are... The apex, the apex is a crab now. You are a Excuse me, I'll do the SpongeBob victory squeal. Woo! 
You, yeah, the dude, lot, yeah, the lot of you, the lot of you lose sight of the apex. There is now another mire lurk. <laughs> <laughs> As you effortlessly move to the next pillar, uh, yeah. And I slap the explosive on there. I look at my fellow mire lurks, <laughs> and I attempt to sneak back to my party. All right. But ten, hooray! Ugh. I emerge from the yeah. mud effortlessly. Effortlessly, the apex uh, wades his way back to you all. His his uh, his whole body from like the waist down is caked in mud, but he's he's done it. I walk back up. That was fun. I pull another oh, deviled man. egg from my fanny pack and just chew on it. <laughs> Hands caked in Mirelurk mud. <laughs> Seriously, you really do like them trash eggs, do you? They're good. <sighs> Fair enough. I'm surprised that you... Damn. Damn. Cynthia's good job. checking his, uh, the hue of his skin to see if he's getting sick from eating trash eggs. <laughs> right now my, uh, right now my uh, skin is covered in poopy mud, so it's probably hard to tell. Make a smarts roll. Gonna. Thirteen. You determine that basically since Apex lives in a, a blasted out wasteland that eating stuff from the trash probably isn't... It's not great, but it's not the worst thing he could do. His immune system seems to be kicking a bunch of ass right now. Cynthia just like rolls her eyes and is like... Uh, okay. It's like... <laughs> Cynthia, it's, would you rather he be getting sick? No, it's be, not. It, I, I didn't say anything. Just it's, it's the anime cells at work, but every white blood cell is the apex. <laughs> they're all wearing. They're all shaped oh, like Brahmin Jesus skulls. Christ. <laughs> every Jesus single, Christ. every single cell is the apex. <laughs> Even the little platelets. It's it's just a cacophony of. We're going to cover the wounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cacophony of. <laughs> Disease! <laughs> Disease! They all look and go, kill! Every single cell, not just the white blood cells, every single cell attacks it. <laughs> the platelets are just holding it in place while the other cells are just <laughs> kicking it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I would watch that in a heartbeat. Apex okay. goes and just crouches down next to Dave. Ow. Uh... Oh, uh, good, good job. Egg. You know, I already had breakfast. But thank you. Yes, Eat he still. already had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly chews on the egg. <laughs> Cynthia right. with red eyes sidles an arm in front of Dave and just kind of guides him away behind her. <laughs> Do not talk to me or my son. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, Apex went ahead and planted the explosives. That's good. Now we just need just a couple good solid shots at each explosive. Now we'll go ahead and set them on off. Immediately. Bang! <laughs> I was gonna... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Cynthia was in red eye mode. It was go time. They were planted. He is back. He is safe. It is time to shoot them. So <laughs> pushes Dave uh, back. Immediately pulls out rifle. <laughs> I just imagine this ape, just Alvin, just with the finger raised while just like huddled over to Louise, and then just the just the gonk anime gonk face as he hears the gunshot. <laughs> so you're you're shooting the dynamite first. Uh huh. Well, yeah, I guess the slow motion thing of, like, the, the shot going off in Louise's head turning, like, oh, fuck, I'm behind, okay. Oh, wait, no. her. Actually, would would probably shoot the shorter ones first because the one that's going to crumble would squish the other two. So to get the most damage possible would probably shoot for the ones that don't have anything. Also smarter to shoot the closer ones first because yep. the things are going to run in the opposite direction. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, so. I'll, uh, Louise will just, you know, be like, fuck, get out her thing and shoot for the opposite one. Once Apex finishes his egg, he's going to be 
essentially readying himself to take on any mire lurks that do run towards the party and he's going to try to protect the shooters while they shoot the bombs also we should move further back so that we're not in the crush radius yeah yep. probably <laughs> gotta um, move out of the crush radius and uh Pull out my shotgun and get ready for a good old time. One hand on a shotgun, the other one in a power fist. And a body roll, correct? For the shot? Uh, Yeah, it's a body roll for the shot. Seven. Okay. Ten. Okay. You know what? I did say shotgun, but I could take a whack at this. Hold on. Nope. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Six. <laughs> uh, Cynthia had already shot and was walking to get further away um, and is uh, already pulled up rifle and ready to shoot the last one. So as soon as everybody clears literally just enough, gonna shoot. Let's hear what happens with that seven. Well, um, actually, since I rolled a ten, as she shoots, Louise's eyes are going to narrow and I'm going to roll ricochet. Ricochet. For the, for the dynamite. Alrighty. Dinite. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a four. Oh no. Ooh, that's somebody a else gets bad. shot. <laughs> Maybe. That's a bad. Those two ones. That's a four, so uh It's fine, you can take it if you want. Jeez. No, it's not about who's gonna take it, it's what's gonna happen to that ricocheted bullet. Oh well, let's see. Hey look, we got two we got two shots off, so that's a good start. True. One's a minor success. All right, so here's the order of events. Uh, Red Cynthia fires a rifle at one of these grenades with the Semtex around it. You you got a minor success. So what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to roll strange. Me? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, so just that then. Four. You Aww. you fire off uh you fire off the shot and you you hear it hit the uh grenade with a poom and you wait a moment. The grenade doesn't explode. Okay. And then Louise, you also squeeze the trigger and you fire at the other grenade and you hit it uh, and it goes off a, a deafening boom, uh, as the strip of Semtex uh, blows a huge chunk uh, out of the concrete and steel and, and you hear the building groan a little bit as Yeah, that's bad. Uh, it, might, it might be a little too aggressive. Hang on. <laughs> oh. How much is that there we go. Off? That'll work. This one's called Volatile Reaction. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> ah! There you so go. Let's see what this So now we'll figure out what that ricochet does. Oh, this is the one with the... Uh, wait, here comes... Oh, no, it's in a second. Uh, yeah, uh, the grenade goes off and suddenly it catches all the Myrlurk's attention and they just begin to scramble. There it is. And they just begin to scramble. Um, scuttling out towards the big sort of blown out entrance that you use to uh, come into this place. Uh, Apex is ready to intercept any that come toward uh, those that are shooting at the explosives. All right. Mean, it. Meanwhile, uh, you uh, the the forces of the universe uh, <laughs> guide your bullets uh, to to ricochet off of a surface, and it strikes into that sort of dark pond, the uh, the lower left hand oh. corner of the of the yet. Of the warehouse, That's the one I was and it about. ripples across the surface of the water, and you all hear a. Oh, double shit! 
glances at Alvin. Uh, Alvin, if you want to take a shot, that's perfectly cool with me. As breaching the surface of the water, you see a dark scaled hands begin to push up and out of the mud and you see a crimson thrill of webbing as some sort of strange frog-like creature breaches the surface of that small pond and Apex's, locks eyes with you. Apex's eyes go wide and he just says, Mine. And the Mirelurk King has entered the fray. Oh my god, of course it did. <laughs> Apex, 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 Apex frays his like Deathlock gauntlet to the side and gets in between everybody else in that thing. Obviously gonna go for another shot here. Um, Yeah, and Alvin, uh, <laughs> your shot just goes wide. He didn't even roll for it. Oh, I did. Oh, he did. He got that six. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Six. All right, we then, did, yeah, readying, uh... in, readying another shot. Uh, So, Cynthia, that four, was that you shooting again? No, that was uh, the no, strange roll. No, that was a strange roll, roll oh. that you asked me oh, to do. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Uh... Wait. Did right. I roll? Yeah, I did. I did, because I got a seven. Yes. All righty. Uh... Yeah, all right, so Apex is, is uh, wading in closer towards the Myrlurks, going to intercept. Uh, the 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 regular Myrlurks look scared. The big daddy Myrlurk looks pissed. Never talk to me or my kids again. Uh, all right, so you, uh, you're, you're firing again? People are firing again? Absolutely. Yep, I'm taking another blast at it. Yep. Same one. Wait, mine exploded. I will... Yours did not explode. Louise's No, did. mine exploded. Okay. So I will try again for the same target. Okay. I'll pick a third. Body roll? Yep. Body That'll roll. be a body roll. It's just Eight. the dynamite and the grenade. Ten. All right. Eight. Uh, Cynthia, roll me a strange for that one. Oh, man. Uh, doing three. Woof. Unfortunately, it's just the the odds are against oh. you, and you, you fire another shot off into it. And a, you just can't seem to get it to go off. Uh, Alvin, however, as you've now sort of uh, exposed the guts, uh, Alvin, your shot... Uh, strikes the inside of the grenade against sort of the stealing inside of this pillar. And that one spark was all you needed to get the grenade to... <laughs> and Woo! that pillar buckles and Louise fires off a shot at the only remaining target, which is the dynamite back there. I'm going to need you to roll strange, Louise. 11. And sure enough, you... The bullet strikes at the uh, wick of the dynamite, and you see it begin to sizzle down. And this humongous explosion erupts. I assume we should run. Great timing music. <laughs> As the various... Uh... Myrlurks that were still stuck in the mud now begin to rise out. You see the eggs shaking to life uh, and, and little baby Myrlurks begin to pour out of these nests uh, and scuttle towards safety, but the building groans. And you hear the framework of this long forgotten structure beginning to crumble and cave in on itself. And I'm going to roll something. portion of uh, a portion of the roof collapses 
and the various chunks of concrete and debris kill four Mirelurks. Your second explosion goes off. Three more go with it. Seven. Finally, the big explosion from the back. From the back. Kills another two. Nice. As the the force of the explosion sort of propels the Mire Alert King forward, sliding across the muddy ground. Uh there are there is sort of like off-white Mire Alert blood and guts taking the walls and the structures crumbling in. That was nine Mire Alerts? Yes. Okay, so Correct. nine out of twelve. That would mean Once. that math. <laughs> there are three That's remaining. Three. There, there are three, three remaining. There you uh, go. <laughs> does that three include like two normal ones and the king, or three normal ones and the king? That that would be uh that would be three normal ones and the king. What about the babies? The babies are all dead. <laughs> Great. I mean, oh no. <laughs> the apex sees his trophy and is going directly towards the king. All right. Apex is looking to fight. What are the rest of you doing? I'm I mean, we, I'm we gotta kill them all. I'm gonna sling my shotgun over my shoulder. I'm gonna throw that hand into another power fist and put up my dukes for another fight with a Mirelurk. With the fluidity of a rotating sushi bar, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia slings the shotgun and pulls out the hand caster and immediately gets it uh, whirring to life. Louise just puts away her SMG and pulls out the shotgun. Dave fumbles for his laser pistol and goes, Oh man. A hand caster is one hand, correct? Uh, yes, it is a one-handed weapon. Amazing. So she also has a pistol in the other hand. All right. Uh, and as you all sidle in to finish off the rest of the Mirelurks of Earth City, this battle will conclude next week. <laughs> Nicely Fucking done, everyone. Holy crap. Ding, 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 ding. Bye, Austin. Oh, bye, bye Austin. Austin. Bye, bye, Austin. Adios, Austin. Adios, Austin. Adios, Austin. Man, those, those stealth rolls, Apex. Yeah. Holy shit, we are Came awesome. They were a little handy, weren't they? If you I disturbed all one. those Meyer... If you disturbed all those Mylarks, it would have been way harder to do this, but... Yeah, I imagine. And this is 45? This is 45. Big 45! more episodes! And we'll hit the big 50! Woo, woo, woo! A million years, Gateway! A million years, Gateway. A million years, Gateway. A million years! Just Connor screaming that while Monty's writhing on the floor like like <laughs> Morty. <laughs> a million years gateway. <laughs> She's like, ah, you can't. <laughs> Why does it hurt? What's up, t-shirts? What's up, t-shirts? Merchandising, video games on the PS5. <laughs> oh my god. Our own Fallout game. Nah, but maybe no. Maybe. That would be pretty poggers. Uh, but. Connor's going to open the door to get his newspaper, and then just Todd Howard's just going to pop out of a bush going, hello. And he's like, ah! <laughs> Todd Howard. Hey, neighbor. Are you Todd it Howard? Just, and then he shoots it, me in the head. It just <laughs> works. <laughs> Cause of death working as intended. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get on out of here, folks. Uh, Caitlin, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Um, uh, please go watch The Thief of Joy, the my very first on-camera short film co-lead experience. It was very, <coughs> very cool. Um, I am going to be streaming more over at twitch.tv slash boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Uh, I think a laughing compilation is coming on Monday. Um, <laughs> We were playing through Slime Rancher 2, and I think there was a solid 15 minutes of us laughing because I think I went feral that night. <laughs> um, so that's something to check out on YouTube at Boobs McBalrog. That's it for me. All righty. Uh, Rabbit, where can they find you, and what are you up to? Hey there, I'm Rabbit. I'm a comedian, and I'm a writer. And I'm a variety streamer. And you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Hey Mr. Rabbit. I stream throughout the week. Uh, I stream on every day. If it's not Wednesday or Saturday, I do believe. Uh, I play everything under the sun. I mostly love RPGs and horror games, mostly. Um, other things I got going on. i uh, been working on a bunch of lyrics for uh, some songs I've been writing. Just just something I've been doing for the New Year resolution. I'm working out and just writing more. Uh, and, oh, other things I'm working on. Uh, I finished a demo reel. Like an actual physical, you can hold it, love hey. it, sniff it. Mother, father, secret lover. <laughs> I um, love you say that now because of me. Yeah, demo reel. It's, you, it's infested my mind. We, we were playing so much Outlast and I was so tired. I just leaned into it i love it so much yeah. <laughs> um it was uh but yeah uh worked on a, a working on a demo reel uh gonna throw that out to some peoples uh in the next couple uh in the next couple of days and uh maybe some good will be doing that so maybe i can go ahead and say uh writer voice actor variety streamer because we already know i'm funny that just that's just a baked and passive so that being said, you can go ahead and find my uh, wacky variety streaming hijinks over at Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube at Hey Mr. Rabbit. Daz me. Right on. Uh, what about you, Lanny? Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Find me all over the internet at Lanny Pator, uh, here at twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator. I've been playing through a bunch of Mario games, looking uh, looking ahead towards the Mario movie. I've been going through a retrospective because up until recently, I had not beaten a single Mario game. I now have seven under my belt. Nice. And uh, soon looking to conquer number eight with Super Mario 3D Worlds, uh, which I'll be starting tomorrow at 7 o'clock Central Time. Feel free to drop on by and hang out. And for those of you that have been missing roll with me, uh, it'll be... On for the 16th of January. Want to give everybody else one more week to recover. Shadow uh, is a little under the weather. Connor still recovering here. Want to make sure everybody's on the up and up. So everybody has uh, an additional week to try to catch back up and uh, join us live. It'll be interesting to catch back up with the Connolly family as they have uh, established their roots in the city of Silver Rock. And... Uh, now uh, there will be a new status quo in effect as we join them after a bit of a time skip. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much everything that's going on on my end. Yeah. Right on. And uh, Sarah, where can they find you? And what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an H, Anthony Willia. I mean, I've shilled already, so. Uh, yeah. You know. My, uh, can't, can see me rabbit next week when we do more spoopy games, and I'm gonna more do something. Games. Yeah. I still can't, I don't know if I can talk about what I'm doing next Friday in lieu of, uh, the regular C4 thing with, uh, Burnout Vaughn and all them, but I will when I can. So, yeah, yeah. All righty, uh, how about you, Connor? Yeah, how about yourself? Well, they can find me uh, off mic, L reaching for a charging cable because my headphones are about to die. <sighs> they can also find me on Twitter, Twitch, uh, <laughs> Tumblr, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. Uh, 
I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, yeah. Uh, may not be streaming tomorrow because I've got my, uh, I've got my birthday dinner I'm going to. I'm going to a fondue place. Fondue. I'm just going to have a bunch of fondue. Birthday. Nice. day. Uh, but if I am streaming, it's going to be Grim Fandango. Nice. Oh, yeah. we're, we're getting ready to wrap that game up, actually. We're on the last Ooh. chapter, I think. You're on year four. Uh, how you, how you digging that game? Oh my god. It, <clears throat> It's just peak, peak point and click Lucas Arts. Mm -hmm. It, it's witty. It's satisfying. The acting is tremendous. It's a very fun romp. I, I highly recommend Grim Fandango, and I'm 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 sad I haven't experienced it until now. I mean that's just how it is sometimes, man. I'm glad you wrapped your uh, I'm glad you wrapped your uh, brain noodle around it though. Really good oh, yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. I love me some point and click adventure games. Uh, but yes, Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm also working on my subclasses. Uh, Where can we find your subclasses at? On my DM's guild. Oh, hell, that sounds easy to do on any browser. That's right. That's right. Although the the future of that is up in the air for reasons that I'm sure many of you are aware of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, but, um, yeah. Uh... What else am I doing? Oh, right. Uh, be on the lookout in the coming weeks for several Unexpectables related projects that we're getting ready to announce. There's one I'm particularly uh, excited about. It's one I've been teasing for a while. If you're a, uh, if you're a fan of Campaign One, uh, look forward. Yes, to the, yes, I am. Look forward to the announcements that I'm uh, uh, that are imminent. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Uh, I'm spilling all the beans here on Gateway. The beans have been dropped. Everybody who's not well, watching is missing out. Tune, tune in next week on Beanway. Mm. Uh, yes. Also, this episode was sponsored by the always wonderful Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Oh, shit. Oh, I, broke fuck the, no. I broke the resolution. It's okay. Damn They're it. made to be broken. I didn't have any herring on New Year's, so it doesn't count. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, use the code UNEXPECTABLE so you can save 10% on your order. Ooh. Can you breathe in the new year of saving? Not right now, I can't. My nose is... <laughs> oh, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> but soon, hopefully. Uh, yeah. Um, also couldn't have done this without people who donate their wonderful business subs. <laughs> Such as... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. I'm concerned. Uh, <laughs> Protoss 103, think of the five bits. <laughs> you guys left Dave behind. Guys, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, everybody's frozen. It's in, in place again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, another week, I guess. Uh, Protoss 103, think of the initial... I hope it's only a week this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Think of the five additional bits. Cynthia grabs Apex and tells him to to spit it out like a dog. <laughs> Drop it. Not saying she wouldn't. I like the meme that Zen Lita posted of the uh, the man wrestling the lion, <laughs> <laughs> grabbing him by the mouth. I I know that's like famously like when I'm trying to get something out of my dog's mouth meme. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Oh, that, Drop that. it. Drop it. <laughs> oh, that, that I've done that too many times with my own dog. 
Mr. Steak is good about dropping anything I tell him to. <laughs> he, is, he is an absurdly obedient dog. Best dog I've ever had. Must be nice. It is. <laughs> my dog Sherman's had an my asshole. keys. My dog had my keys in my in his mouth. He was getting in the. And, and, Sher and Sherman isn't an asshole. He wasn't an asshole to me. Yeah, he wasn't an asshole to you. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> He's always peeing on the floor and growling at me when I get near him. <laughs> anyway, Z on the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 30 months. Another year of the best uh, show of the past years. Looking forward to seeing the crazy shenanigans you guys will get up to. Uh, pray for your fast recovery, DM. Be safe. Yeah, I've got a lozenge in my face right now, so help, help my poor throat. My poor That's throat the is... Best stuff. Uh, uh, Ignarix, thank you for the four months. Not true. There's a man named Buzz Lukowski in uh, Arizona. Buzz Lukowski. Buzz, Buzz Lukowski. Lukowski will always be watching. <laughs> Super Saiyan Derp, thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> Sorry, faceless that got 42. Me. That got me. <laughs> the uh, faceless 42. Thank you for the 100 bits. Her dignity in death was being my National Geographic, the apex, starting the year off strong, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <That> Insecure, <laughs> thank you for the 500 bits. Episode title: Return to Monkey, Evolve to Meyer Lurk. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Snacks, thank you for the 8 bits. Riotous Frog, thank you for the 100 bits. Sarah, I just played Freedom Planet 2. I love that game. I saw you voice... No, it's more like... Yeah, I couldn't do that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> thank I you for only, taking I, us there, though. I can only do the male equivalent. Uh, just wanted to say you did such a great job on that little dude. Yeah, he was fun. He just screams a lot. <laughs> Excellent work. Protoss103, thank you for the five additional bits. Not there. My character pulls out his infinite Gatling laser. <laughs> well, you see, that that's why... <laughs> that's why they're not the equivalent of, of protagonist. Together, they're the equivalent of a protagonist, but separate... We are just dudes. <laughs> they're just uh, they're just very strong people. Hmm. The the versus battler in me makes me want to uh, see who would come out on top. Would it be the the runaways versus the courier? The runaways versus the soul survivor? The runaway versus the angry Fallout 4 parent. Hmm. I guess it depends on the build. I... I daren't put anything up against Captain Richard Ravage the <laughs> Third. Look, 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 uh, stealth sneak attack damage has always been how I've played every Bethesda game. It's stupid. It's great. I love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Stealth bow. Is yep. the way to go. Uh, Especially since the more damage you do, the dumber the physics get. So you get to a point where you just shoot a rat and it just goes <laughs> just like through the air. Corkscrews into the infinite. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 20 bits. Enjoy your Grim Fondoon go tomorrow. <laughs> I will. Uh, Riotous Frog also saying with the 100 bits, Sarah, I played Freedom Planet 2. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for the additional bits. And Protoss, <laughs> uh, thank you for the five bits. I also have 100 stim packs. Yeah, you're just not, you're just not dying unless you're in survival mode. Yeah. Well, with that, uh, let's go ahead and see if there's somebody that we can raid and send this party to. All let's right. Uh, let's Arkolf. take a look. Arkolf is on. Zito is on.
Uh, let's go ahead and read Arkhoff one on. Yeah. He's playing the Dada Boy. Yeah. Dada Boy. Dada, Dada Boy Dadnarok. We'll read Arkhoff. Should, right, should, be... should the raid message be, that's a seven? <laughs> uh, well, the raid message will be lurking. 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 Let's go bother Z. <laughs> she I says buy. as I raid Arkov. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everybody. We'll see y'all uh, on Wednesday for more Unexpectables. And then right here, should everything go as planned, for more Woo. gateway. Have a Woo. good day. Have a good bye, bye everybody. Say goodbye, Selena. Bye. Have bye. a good bye. Bye bye now. Goodbye. 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 Now. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.